Thank you for the resub. Hi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pretzel Making Time, and we're going to be jumping right over to our kitchen to start because we have to get dough to be made. Dough. Thank you very much uh, to Wizard Glick getting us started on the day. Thank for you, Wizard. 40 months saying hi. Hello. Hi. And uh, we have Elon get to one to Chip the Ninja, and welcome to the stream. How are you? Thanks, Elon. Hope you're Elon. doing good. I hope you're doing well. Thanks, everybody, for joining us tonight. We're a little belated on National Pretzel Day, but... We are. They'll still taste good, I think. Mm, I think so, too. Yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, we're just going to get everything started. You almost got pretzels today? Yeah, get snacks. You Sna won't get hungry, but... Snacks are recommended. Agar, getting us started on the hype train. Let's go. Thanks for tossing in some bits, my friend. Cheers. cheers. Literally a cheer. Appreciate literally it. cheers. Literally, literally cheers. Literally? Literally cheers. Literally. All right. Uh, it's a little bit of our. Uh, we're slightly out of order. Um, but you know, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of order. Something like that, right? <laughs> Boom. There's our beautiful bean footage. You're actually recovering from a cold. So doing better. Good. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know about. I think all this weather fluctuating is making my noggin go nuts. You made pretzels too, Ella. That's a great tip, by the way. Thank you for. Uh, We're gonna try it. Yeah, thank you for for sharing. It makes sense. I never thought about how much uh, water the baking soda was absorbing from the air, but it definitely does. I did get a new package of it today, though. So. I mean, that's a plus. To it. What is is it in a box? It's in a box. Okay. Well, a cardboard box won't prevent um, moisture being. Doesn't there a thing inside? Is it, is it just a cardboard box? The last one. All, most of the ones that we've had have been just the cardboard box, so. Okay. It'll You're still. It now. Noise. It's well, we, still loud. We have sauces to make. We got pretzels to dough. We got dough to make. Dough. So we're gonna do this, guys. We're just gonna pop over uh, real quick over to our kitchen, so we can do some uh, kitchen type stuff. Yeah. So let me uh, get music on, music and tunes, and then we have some uh, potential announcement stuff tonight. So music and tunes. Uh, when we come well, after the dough is made, we're gonna have to wait about an hour. We're gonna do a little gameplay in the in the in the midst of it. We gotta rise it. There's All some right. sort there's some sort of a process or joke in there, but yeah. All right, we'll be know. right back with you over in the kitchen. Yes. Check, check. Can you hear us, chat? Hello, hello. Can you hear our lovely voices? Can you hear all the rain falling outside? It's so rainy today. It is. Well, welcome back. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> you walk over here, but put mics on. Hello. Welcome back. We're over here now. Hello. I'm opening the, uh, I'm opening the stream on the, the laptop. Voices from the outside. Ooh. The devil finally went down to Georgia. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, did it? There's a whole song about that I hear. You earwormy bastards. Earwormy bastards. <laughs> so we got like baking soda, right? 
we have this this one, but then I got this one, the old, the old arm and hammer. You yeah, know? yeah. Look at the bicep on that arm and hammer. Arm and Ooh. hammer. Voices from outside my head. Whoa. <laughs> Something new and different. You you heard that wrong. You went down on the devil in Georgia. I see. <laughs> I see. Oh yeah, there's a donut on the front of that. No, that's a cookie. It's a cookie? It's a cookie. So we're supposed to bake the baking soda. Yes, mm -hmm. bake the baking soda. I put it at 250. Because it's just like a moisture thing. Let me uh, let me look at the tip real quick. Because I didn't catch the temperature. All right. Come over here, chat. We're going to be dough making dough. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. All right, here we go. Making the dough. Time to make the donuts. It said 250 to 300, so yeah, this should be fine. Do you want me to uh, spearhead that project? Spearhead the initiative? Of what? The the baking soda. Get the scale out? Um, I just have it preheating, I'll just. Okay. And then we'll, we'll measure the stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll focus on the dough at the moment. Sure. That's what I'm saying, since there's only room for one of us to be over at the dough area, I could spearhead the baking soda initiative. Okay, that looks good. If that works for you. Um, how about this? Can you grab a scale for me? Yes. Um, and then the following ingredients for our courtesy of Alton Brown. Balance. All right. Um, I need... Schmeast. I need yeast. Instant yeast. Um, oh, instant yeast. Well, that's fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 22 ounces of all-purpose flour. So if you want to grab the one that... Well, we can finish this one up first and then add this one. Um... Do we put the butter in the dough? I feel like not, but... Two teaspoons of kosher salt. We do got that. We have one sugar. I need sugar. Okay. Sugar. And... Chat. Yeah. Gotta have chat for the recipe. How to make a stream. Um, it takes a while. Well, we have an hour. Flour, salt, and chat. Flour, salt, and chat. Flour, salt, and chat. Combine water, sugar, and kosher salt in the bowl and the earth stand mixer and sprinkle the yeast and allow. All right, so I did learn this um, uh, because the, the, the recipe calls for one packet of this. Right. And we do have packets, too. No, no, no. Uh, I, I know. Okay. But what I did is I grabbed the packet to see how much it is in there. And I did a little association for myself for what is the drinking age. 21 grams. Ah. That's a good way to go. That is a good way to go. Tear. 21 grams of yeast. Um, I'm going to need a cup. Of warm water? Yes. Like... Uh, you know, to like, like baby bottle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I need a cup and a half, actually. So we're going 21 grams of yeast. Wow, I almost like gas pumped that. That was great. <laughs> 21. Wait, that says ounces. Unit. Milliliters? Grams. Wait a minute. Only with water is it the same. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. It is 21 ounces. That's right. Um, probably not 21 ounces. No, no, no. I read this one. Not that one. I read that one at the store. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. A little too warm. We don't want to kill the yeasties. Are you, are you uh, blooming the yeast in that bowl? I am going to bloom the yeast in this bowl. It will not take very long. It shouldn't. Okay. 
and then water, sugar, and salt. I really kind of wish that they would, he would give me the weight of the stuff. I do too. Add all, the flour. All, all baking should be done with weight. Add the flour and, and butter using the dough hook attachment. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Guess what's not happening? Dough hook attachment. <laughs> Attach it. You can pirate it on your hand. <laughs> Combine the water, sugar, and kosher salt. How much sugar was it? You want you to put the salt in with the yeast? Apparently. It doesn't really fucking matter, to be honest. This is what matters right now. Twenty-two point three seven four five hexamill hexamilliliters squared. No, metric makes so much more sense. And anytime you're baking, it should be. I feel like it should be weights. I agree. The weights on the baking is a good idea. Okay, so now we're waiting for that to get all yeasty. A yeasty muffin can ruin your entire day. A yeasty muffin can ruin your entire day. <laughs> All right, then I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff. So it is now sugar. Come on, two teaspoons, one tablespoon. Hear me out on this, because I heard a secondary recipe. I'm gonna have a light brown sugar, please, instead of this. Okay. I'm gonna do light brown sugar for pretzels rather than regular sugar. And he just gave, they're just giving me the, uh, the the measurement here, huh? Okay. Teaspoon and table, table spoon. Y'all need tiny whisk babish style? Like that? Should I whisk it? Should I whisk the yeast? Tiny, I mean, we have, we have a smaller whisk. I don't know if it's babish tiny whisk. But there's like, yeah. Should I whisk it? Whisk it good. Bear, wow, 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 wow. There you go. And all the yeasties can get moistened. There you go. I had to use both measuring systems, but for me, all metric recipes uh, look. Yeah, metric recipes are the kind of the way to go, I'll be honest. I could see engineering school having to do both, though, because you still have to do with, like, miles and, like, that kind of stuff. Yeah, you want you want to know the the crazy thing, is that, like in Britain, they still use like miles per hour, which is like what? That is weird. All right, so on this, we're hitting it with uh, one tablespoon of brown sugar. I'm doing brown sugar instead of white sugar on this. I just saw a thing, and I was like, that actually makes a ton of sense. So that's a, one tablespoon of that, and then a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay. I say the brown sugar though. Mm. Um, how much flour? You said twenty-two ounces. Mm-hmm. So that's almost that's a, like a pound and a half ish. So I don't know if that'll be enough to actually flavor the pretzels at all, but I was surprised you put about that much lard and it makes a big difference in the dough. So I don't know. Oh, it could be. It's still sugar. I don't know. It's just something that I read that somebody was like, hey, I, tr I started with this and then switched to brown sugar because it was better. You are the man to watch the with YouTube the video dough right now. Yeah, you're the man with the dough. If you want brown sugar, you get brown sugar. The man with the apron, the man with the dough. Uh, about five minutes until the mixture begins to foam. Ooh, we want to see bubbles. You guys see foamy bubbles? Foamy bubbles. <laughs> in my yeast. And as the mister says, if you can count to 10, you can do it in metric. That's true. He's right. But uh, yeah, I was just saying, uh, in England, they still measure things in like miles per hour, which is strange. But they don't measure distances in miles. We're 65 mi kilometers from our next destination, and we're traveling at 60 miles per hour. How long will it take us to get there? God oh, damn it. Oh, come on, physics class. <laughs> I 
All right, let's just measure out the uh, flour then, I guess. Let's do it in this bowl here. We are going to going with, and again, this is, uh, Hermie taught me this. She says, here, put that back in the fridge. Yep. She said, this is baking, this isn't cooking. So this is like, you gotta do the, the thing. This you know? is this is more exact. Baking is a science, measure. cooking is an art. Yeah, so now we do 22 ounces. Now I'm on ounces. You, can I can I just say you might need a bigger bowl than that? No, no I'll do it. I literally did this the other day. This is the one for the mix, that's the one for the thing. I know, but are 22 ounces of flour gonna fit in there? I think so. Okay. It's about four and a half cups. I don't know how I feel about mixing flour, to be honest. Why? Eh. It's it's, it's probably the organic same. all purpose. Yeah. Yeah. It probably literally came from the same place and it's just in a different bag. You might be right. You know, I do food nerd things, so. You do. You do. I do, I do. It'll be fine, I'm sure. It will be fine. It is flour. I do it 22. all the time. 22. 22. Love you, 22. This is like my third time making dough ever, by the way, you guys. So you know. You did great. The last one came out pretty good, though. All of your stuff has come out good. <laughs> How much baking soda are we gonna bake? Two thirds of a cup. All right. Um, I'm going to put it in this clean foil pan. If we end up needing more foil pans, we can get more foil pans, okay? Could we line that, please? Yes. Just put a piece of tin foil down on it. Because baking soda is definitely has a, it's a, you clean with it, but you know, there's also sort of a, uh, there's it's like salty. a salty flavor sort yeah. of thing that goes with it, yeah. Just off the end, uh, Muxosova? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good taste, yes, it's our, it's our vodka. The potato vodka. Good old fuzzy eyes starting from low res. Hey, do what you gotta do. All right, this does, I'm at 22 ounces here, according to the recipe. Chat, I wanna see a spam of whatever emote, carrots. Let's do carrot emote spam when you think the yeast is ready to go. When the yeast are ready to breed? <laughs> Cause this is all the ingredient, hold on. There's one more thing, right? Add the flour and the butter. Oh. This is why butter. I had it unsalted butter melted. Oh, at least that'll be easier to put Two in. Two ounces. I did leave the butter out, everyone, just so you guys know. It's softened. It's so it's Room softened. temperature, it's softened. Softened butter. And we softened. did get the unsalted. Stupid thing out of here now. There we go. Hey, Barry Weird, thank you for the uh, positivity. Happy Friday yourself. If you're gonna be lurking, get yourself some snacks. Happy Friday. Yep, yeah, do get snacks for this for the stream. Hermie's right. You are going to want snacks for this stream. The water was about about body temp warm, so you know, 98 Fahrenheit. Early cook night. Well, here's the thing. We have to start this, we have to let it rise for an hour. Yes. Yep, you, so you we- You may notice a dough and, and, a, and a yeasty bowl. Wait, what is, are you shitting me right now? What, what, what ounces? What is two ounces of butter? Okay, so- um, There's tablespoons. There's a pound, a pound of butter is 16 ounces. So each stick is four ounces. So each stick so is four a, ounces, so it's, so half, it's half, a half a stick. Just double check, just double check my math on the outside of the little plastic with teaspoons, the wax teaspoons, wax. tablespoons, it doesn't third say of either. a cup, tablespoons. This unit is not labeled for retail. Butter. <laughs> it doesn't say. Four ounces total. Okay, so so two ounces is half of that. Two ounces so is half, half of that. So half a stick. That. All right. 
Just making sure my math is right in my head, because noggin, noggin is in a super. All right, well, for the second week in a row, Chef Mike's coming out. <laughs> in our house, only when we have to. Uh, Melt butter, right? Yep, Def or defrost something, or if Mini Raj is making an Easy Mac cup. Right, or Easy Mac cup. <laughs> Should be on the label. Yeah, kind of. It's there. We're going to keep this softened, though. We like the softened butter, but this is... We want to keep it separate from our salted butter, which because... Is, which is back there. <laughs> which is back there. That's correct. Because it is unpleasant when you're expecting salted butter and you get unsalted. It definitely is. But this recipe is definitely an unsalted sitch. Most recipes do call for unsalted. Are we ready for... Uh, do we think our yeast is good? I'm seeing some bubbles. I'm seeing bubbles, too. Um, since you whisked it, those bubbles weren't there when you whisked, after you whisked it? I don't think so. Okay. Because it means the yeast are farting. Oh, it's, you guys did it right. Cool. You're like the, yeah, you got pretzels. I think you're the second or third person saying, I got some pretzels today. All right. You're doing bring, it right. Bring in the right snacks. Bring in the right snacks. You got a lot of smell of like some melted butter. Oh, speaking of, by the way, guys, this That's is not for tonight's stream, but at the store today, I got two bags of crab legs for 16 bucks. What? That's shocking. That's shocking. <laughs> what? Can you toss me a scissors when you get a chance? Because, uh... Wing! Maybe not toss so much. Peanut, peanut butter pretzels. Ah. Oh, like the ones with the peanut butter inside? Those are pretty good. All right, that is, as they say in the business, melted butter. And as they also say in the business sometimes. How do you turn this thing off? They say that in the business. I think you push the on button again. I am pressing the on button, it just does a tear. Mm. Do I hold it down? Yeah, try it. Maybe it just turns off by itself? It probably does. I don't think I've ever changed the batteries in it, so it seems to be pretty efficient at it. All right. Ugh. It was like 14. Uh, that That's more than we would have gotten, to be honest. Uh, it was like 14 for two pounds of legs. Wait, really? I was going to, but the freezer section was wiped out like they broke. Damn. Uh. Do you want to do you want to show this on on cam before I put it in the oven? Yeah. So this is um this is a tip from this Ella. Is, this is a uh, this is our baking that's a perfect, soda. That's a perfectly legal substance right there. I'm trying to be better than Gordon Ramsay right now, by the way. Baking soda. Oh my god. Soda. <laughs> we still don't know we were supposed to use in that recipe. <laughs> All right. And we're gonna bake the baking soda for about an hour. Which doing this gets rid of any um water that is adsorbed to the outside of the baking soda molecules. Just scooch up just one sec. Yep. 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 I don't want to bake your buns. Baking soda. So, um, so so what that'll do is actually make it more concentrated. Not this. Not that. Not this. Baking powder, you need salt to activate. And baking soda just activates by itself with water. <laughs> All right. All right, there's science. All right, yeast, yeah, huh? Eh? Chat? Sodium bicarbonate. There's two hydrogens. Are we good? Start uh, doing a thing. Carrots, all right, I like it. Sugar in and salt in, and then we're going to just sort of. Um, Old Rasputin imp stout. I'm just gonna do this, we'll wash it out then. That's fine. Doing, doing a, a, a third hand to whisk? You got it, you got it. I got extra hands if you need them. Start adding it to it. I guess I'll add the butter in there too. Actually, it should just kind of slow. It's not like a fast whisk. This is like a slow. Cause it's supposed to be like I'm, I'm simulating the I'm simulating the dough hook here. 
Butter in. You could do this or pay $700 for a KitchenAid. Or we could just have... I like, I like the... Uh, the sound effect Raj? The sound effect Raj better. Honestly. <laughs> be the hooker you want to be. True. Let's just start going. Do you want me to be the be the stand mixer holder? I'll take this, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Alright, fuck it. In you go. This is the part in the stand mixer where I would get flour all over the kitchen. And we're making a dough. We're making a dough. We're making a dough. It looking like a dough. Oh yeah, the if you dissolve the sodium carbonate in water and add some wads of foil, you get homemade hydrogen. We're just gonna make pretzels, though. So. We're gonna do pretzels today we're rather than you know bombs, some, okay? But, we're gonna uh, do less homemade hydrogen. All right, listen here, anarchist cookbook. Today, right, calm down. I know you need like a stirring chopstick or a yeah whisk. Probably I've actually this. done a this with a chopstick the last time. Honestly, I it's probably one of the best things you can do because it's less surface area for it to get stuck to, like the whisk. Here, do you want me to take the whisk? Yeah, take it a whisk. Take it a whisk. I'm gonna just uh, get her going there, Peg. <laughs> Getting in there, just getting in there, you know. Uh, I always use chopsticks chop to mix your flour and water. Yeah, you there you go. Folks in chat, get yourself a get yourself a drummer to knead your dough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what do you see this kneading process? I'll tell you <laughs> what, you're gonna need to have some eye goggles with her. <laughs> no pretzel bombs. What pretzel bombs? Oh, oh, <laughs> with the hydrogen. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds like a like a like one of the what's that uh, what's that game where you try to assassinate people, uh, in it's curious just, and interesting ways. Just one of them. Well, there's multiple. Yes, I can get you. Just die already. <laughs> just die already. Could be it. Yeah. Oh, are you um? You're thinking Hitman? Hitman. Yeah. Hitman. It's like Hitman. Kill somebody with a pretzel. Gets got uh got the pretzel pretzel bomb. <laughs> pretzel bomb sounds like what happens later. <laughs> the ship. But I'm still loco enough to choke you to death with a Charleston chew. Chicka, chicka, chicka. <laughs> it's an Eminem lyric. Choke you to death with a Charleston chew? Yeah, that's psycho. It's Eminem. No, we're not psycho. <laughs> Alright, so now... We want to what? It's either, is it relax the gluten or create the gluten? Cre kneading creates. Kneading creates the gluten. So it'll hold together as the yeast rise and make bubbles in between the strands. There we go. <sighs> oh no, Charleston shoes are, I, I, I know they're not good. But I have, uh, that's one of those gross things that I really like. You know what? I'm okay. I'm on board with the uh, Charleston Chew grossness factor. We really? know it's not good. Yeah. Wait, do you, do you, do you like them? I like them, yes. Yeah. The, the texture, it's the texture is what it is. All right, guys, here we go. This is when the real process begins. All right, Herbie, would you be so kind as to... Wash that out. All right, here we go. I gotta say, your 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 dough, your dough technique is very good. You end up with most of the flour. I always end up with the uh, not well, flour on the counter. Flour on the counter. 
flour on the Taco Bell. And then we're going to pound it down. Fold it. Press it. <laughs> fold it. Press it. Fold it in. Fold it. Press it. Be it like an ocean money rush. <laughs> Who does number two work for? <laughs> Charleston chews come in like, I think they're like vanilla with chocolate outside and they're kind of like a chewy nougat. Yeah. But they also come in strawberry and chocolate, but they're, they're not as, they're not as uh, prevalent. <laughs> how about a courtesy flush over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey man, how about a courtesy flush, huh? Now this is the, this is the part of the process that I was always like, when is it good? You know, like how much? Right. Fold it. I feel like that's the kind of thing when you make them a thousand times, then you know. <sighs> yeah, to test bracer, uh, 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 braces and dentures. Yeah, Charleston Chew. Oh yeah. Got something loose in there? It's coming out. <laughs> like a like a caramel apple, right? Your kid got a loose tooth. Caramel apples. Oh, like Mini Raj just dropping teeth everywhere. He's like, oh, I lost a tooth. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did. He's like. Pretty casually asking that. Yeah, tooth. he's just like, oh yeah, my tooth came out. Yeah, I know. It was a baby tooth, don't worry guys. Even the Mona Lisa's falling apart. <laughs> nice, right? I like it. Can Hermie eat this because she's not gluten, she's not celiac, right? So I'm not celiac, that's correct. She this has is, gluten sensitivity and this is uh, organic and This is This is and I have an American wheat flour sensitivity. If it's organic or imported, it doesn't bother me. I don't know why. I've, I have theories, but I don't know everything behind what goes on. So I don't want to speculate too much. I just know normal American wheat flour bothers me. Organic and imported does not. So we buy the or... You know the. Uh, so I'm really annoying, and everything I yeah, you know, eat is you know super the, expensive. <laughs> you know the thing that's like two dollars, and the one next to it's twelve. Yeah, we have to buy the twelve dollar one. I'm so annoying. I have to get the Dave's Killer Bagels that are six dollars instead of the store brand dollar fifty ones. Yep. I know Billy Bob. There's there's so many. I I know I know. There's so many things like, but. The thing that I would be interested in is exactly the scientific process of what happened, and that's what I don't know. It's really tricky, too, because the thing is, is the reason that it bothers you could be that, or and that could be the reason why it bothers somebody else, but it's not necessarily right. the same for each person. Well, the thing is, the thing is that, like, from what I understand, I don't know, I don't know that this is 100% true, but apparently sometime in the 40s or 50s, like, most of the wheat flour seeds that we use like they irradiated them <laughs> so completely fucked up their dna a radium fever <laughs> is coming got me down this brain it's so got a special glowing all around <laughs> so i'm slowly turning into a, a, a glowing one is what i understand yeah basically we're just all the children of adam guys that's all it is you don't know it but you might be children of adam okay that's complete can we dry that completely yeah absolutely I, I'm going to use it you're as the rising back in there. Yep, yep. I understand. I'm a little slow so, today. So you guys are saying... Feed it like it owes you money. Yeah, they do. They beat the shit out of it. And pretzels are like a pretty high gluten thing, so... I'm beating the shit out of it, okay? You do that. You beat the shit out of it. For those without a stand mixer... See, I was thinking about getting a stand mixer when I first made the uh, bread. And I was like, I'm pretty sure bread was around before... Stand mixers. <laughs> I know, that's what I always say that too. I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure you can do that, or, but you know what was it? Capitalism. <laughs> and how are we going to get people to buy $700 stand mixers, Raj? I know, right? This will make your bread making easier. Well, they're right, you're right about that. Yeah, but maybe some things should be hard. Yeah, but this is what okay. they call making it with love. <laughs> <laughs> I make the pretzels with love, with love, love it. You know, maybe that's why Dave's Killer Bread is so good because they hire ex-cons. <laughs> so like Don't get me wrong. If we had a stand mixer, we'd definitely use it. But 
<laughs> we, have, we have two things with this stand mixer. It's prohibitively expensive. And also, where the fuck are we gonna put a stand mixer? Those things are monsters. <laughs> Wait, for me to smash? Oh, you please, I'm a drummer. When it comes down to like hitting percussive objects on things, I'm actually kind of accurate. <laughs> you wanna take that to the test? <laughs> So the difference that there's From a up difference high. <laughs> between there's a difference between um, cross breeding wheat for certain characteristics and irradiating the shit out of it. There's a, there's a, a large difference. Well, if we could we could patent genes, I'm gonna patent brown hair. So you know. There was a thing where you I know. I'm I know. To remember, I was trying to remember exactly what it was though. You know. Yep. But uh, yeah. Uh, isn't it great? Softens it real nice. What do you think? I mean, are we getting there, guys? Are we? Is this uh, this is what we're talking about? Uh, 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 uh. I'm like domestically working out right now, basically. You are. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear the nuking of the wheat, but I have heard. Uh, Heard the bioengineering? Yes. But yeah, it's it's a very different process to. I mean, plants have been selectively bred for characteristics for thousands of years, but uh, you know, sticking it under a. <laughs> All right, bread bread makers of the chat, bread makers of the chat. I think there might be one or two. Are we good? This is looking like it looking like a dough. It, it looking like a dough. It looking like a dough. Are we good to start the uh, the hour proof? It's, it says remove the dough from the bowl, clean the bowl, and oil it oil it well. I'm not oiling it. I'm just I got it. Turn the dough to the bowl, cover with plastic wrap, and sit in it. I like the towel method better. Let me We're get you, doing a towel. Let me get you a clean towel. Thank you. Yep. I'm just gonna. I'm you just gotta gonna give it a little hertas. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna highlight that part of uh, Raj doing the kneading and put in my spank bank. Your kneading could use a bit of work, <laughs> but that though looks like it's my second, it's my third time ever. <laughs> I mean, if you're pre listen, if you're a professional pretzel maker, you're gonna do this way better than I. This is like literally my third dough in my life that I've ever made. And I'll say the first two were very good. This, his first two, his first two bread rounds were very good. All right, so, all right, here we go. All right, all right the ball is... When does it... <laughs> then you're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> when does it go on the pottery wheel? Oh, my love. I hit it with a little spray. My Give it a little darling. boop. And boop. There we go. All right, let's grab me the um, those little dishes over there. Just stick them in. The little bowl in the cup. I think your jokes are needing of improvement. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. All right. Time goes by. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> but don't worry, so does my needing skills. <laughs> but that's how you learn, right? You have somebody in chat go, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Is there a right way? I don't know. So, all right, honestly though, like what, is there something I did differently? Cause I thought it was like a fold and press, a fold and press and a fold and press and a fold and press. Is that right? Is that not the right way? Is there another method that you should be using for dough? Punch it, slap it on the counter, you know? Hey, Barbarian. You also got a great reaction out of it. Is that a chemistry joke? Yeah. Is that, is it? Better not be. Better not be a chemistry joke. Better not be, you know how we feel about those around here. Ready. Dirty talk to it. I gotta be the bread. I have to smell the bread. I have to date the bread. I have to smell the bread. I have to smell the dough. Gotta be the marble. So I wait, gotta is... wash the marble. I gotta sniff the marble. Be joining soon. Gotta ride up to get a burrito and some beers to bring home. All right. I don't know why I said it like that, but I like it. Please do the needful. If you don't treat it like my wife treats me, you're not doing it right. Oh my god. <laughs> that was such a dark thing to say, man. 
That's okay. We all say some dark shit around I here. I know. I know. It's true here. They're like, wow, that's dark, man. Do we need any more of this? Where's the uh, actual? Oh, here. Um, I just want to make sure that we're like good to like let it sit. I think so. We should see it double in size in an hour. Um, 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 um. Um, all right, so. Yeah. Return the dough to the bowl, recover in plastic wrap, and where. Okay, yeah, we're there. All right, that's good. That's all the stuff. Alton Brown, don't steer me wrong on my ratios. That's all I'm saying. Um, and then we're cooking the baking soda via mm -hmm. Ella. Mm -hmm. Right. Is there anything else that we need to do at the moment? I think this is good. I think this is good. I think we're ready to go. All right, then. What's the temp on the counter? Oh, right here? Um, it's about, in the house, I would say... Let me, I'll, I'll double check the, at the thermostat. It's going to be a little warmer in the kitchen. A little warmer in the kitchen, I'll say probably... Let me cover my mic so I don't feed that. 70 ish oh, oh brown is good never question him i know i'm not questioning him except for the fact that i kind of wish these were in grams that's my only thing i wish they were in grams i guess we could all technically do this all right temp in the house by the by the thermostat is 68 fahrenheit so it's probably about 70 fahrenheit in here Is this in its range, though? Yes. I know, but it means it's accurate at, like, room it's, temperature. It's accurately enough to, like, get a get a feel, right? Okay. 73, 74 degrees. That's what it is in here. That good? Yeah, I think it's I think it's trending a little warm, but... Yeah, it might be. Well, guys, we have some announcements. We're going to go do some gameplay while we wait for this on an hour, but we're going to do one thing before we jump over there, and that is Ziggy. Set timer for one hour. One hour, starting now. There you go. One hour, starting now. And guys, we'll meet you over on the gaming portion. Uh, and we're gonna do a little bit of announcement. So do stick around. We have some interesting stuff going down today. Yep, yep. We'll be right back.
All right, we're back, guys. We are back. We're on the gaming platform now, and we do have an announcement tonight. <laughs> oh, announcement tonight. And, uh, yeah, I did read that wrong. You got to, my old eyes, and there's a little tiny text, all right? All right, all right, all right. Give me, give me, give me a break. Right tiny here. text. Okay, so here is the announcement. Announcement. You know this pack that we've been uh, crafting lovishly for the last two months or so? Released it on Curse. The Builder's Railway? The Builder's Railway. You guys know this pack? Did I miss the pretzels? No, dough is rising here. We, uh, do we... They're, they're currently, the dough is rising. We need to leave, give it an hour. Dough cam. Dough cam. But no, so we started the dough. That's all we did. Okay. So, we are going to do a season subserver that is going to last until 1.2 drops out. Now, this subserver is going to be very different than others. All right. We're going to be doing this pack with the intention of having a big railway system. Okay. Now, here's the deal. We're going to have like specific things that we're going to want to accomplish in this. And at the end of the season, I have a special algorithm that we're going to run that's going to give our server a score. That score is going to be based around how many active trains are running and you get negative for train crashes. However, oh, no. it is not cumulative. It's a special, there's a special moment, moment where we run that for the final stream of the server of season one of the Builders Railway. And we're going to have a bunch of planning that we're going to do. We'll talk about it over this weekend. I'll be definitely around. And what we're gonna start with though right now is we're gonna do a little bit of seed hunting. And you guys are welcome to jump in with us on this because the idea is, is that we want to have everything connected. And so the idea is something like this. So I want to make sure we don't have a Valheim situation. Um, Valheim was great and it was fun for us all to sort of like live together. But I also recognize that a lot of people got a little, didn't want to do anything with it. Because you're like, oh, it looks so good. I don't want to fuck it up. So nobody wants to, to do that. So we're going to have individual places. It's still Minecraft that you guys can do your individual things and uh, accomplish specific goals. And that's not like, we're not assigning them to you. But like, I want you to feel free to build, right? If you're not, if you're not doing the tech stuff and you want to be a builder, we have your, we have that. You just want to clear areas. You want to be the miner. We have that too. You, you see what I'm there's, saying? There's tons of blocks. There's going to be there's going to be so much for everybody to do. And and it's a very short run uh, server. This is only going to run until this is only going to. All right, now hear me out. Hear me out. This is the one thing about this before you jump into like your your thought process. We will not be starting the server and spreading out and building bases. That is a we will not be doing that. There will not be individual bases for people. The, it's a collective. This is a huge collective. A collective to build trains and not crash trains. Correct. <laughs> so there's not individual bases. So like a castle town. We could do a town, yeah. Sure. But I, I feel like people are going to you know, have uh, their own, uh, own projects in different spaces. But it's not. Uh, there's two reasons for this. Number one, because it's short-lived. Uh, when you do individual stuff, it takes a lot longer to accomplish a lot of these tasks. Secondly, um, we are trying to be, we're, we're collectively trying to go for essentially season one score. We want to baseline this stuff to see how that's going to go. But yes, there will need railway engineers. There will be bridge builders. There will be home builders. There will be farm builders. There will be all the things that we have in Minecraft, but we're going to do it as a collective. If you want to just build a house, you could do that too. All those things are there, but we need to seed hunt. And we're going to do that for an hour. So let's do that. Awesome. Are you guys down? Who's hyped for that? Does it sound like a cool idea? I think it sounds like a really cool idea. I mean, that that gets us all invested into like making the making the best like railways we can make. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the next season, you try to beat the score. Try to beat the score for season two, exactly. That's exactly. awesome. 
What a great idea. There's some big brains at play on the, on those ideas, huh? Smart fellers. Right. Smart fellers. We're heading over to Chunk Base. We're just going to slap some random. What kind of conditions do we want to have for a railway type of base? What do you guys think? Well, what are the, some of the... the uh, one one eighteen plus one nineteen. We're gonna have big holes everywhere. Do we get bonus points for number of traders killed by rail? You know what? Yes. That would be really fun. Yes. Bonus points of number of oh traders killed by rail. But or or like part of the part of the algorithm could be like the lead count. <laughs> lead count at the end of each <laughs> at the end of each season. I love it. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have holes everywhere. More Badlands and Snowy Biomes. I was kind of thinking Badlands too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Lonely Mountain with a valley nearby and plains. Okay, so like a like a mountain. Okay. Badlands. Or more for the greens. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking this, like gold mine could be one of the goals, right? And a gold mine is going to be great for a mesa, right? Absolutely. You're not a fan of building in the Badlands? It's always a mesa to me. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Um, I would like to have a mesa, but that doesn't have to be... Right. It's not going to be the only thing, right? Right. A mesa, right, doesn't mean we can't have the other things, too. Does that mean I should boot up in vanilla? No. Okay. You don't have to. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm going through some random seeds right now. That's like a forest biome into a mesa. Mushroom Island pretty close on that seed. That's the that guy. Decent swamps for easier slime balls for super glue. Good idea, actually. Swamps, yes. Yeah, Good like thought. a vanilla swamp. Good thought. Swamps. Swamps, she. There's a mangrove swamp right here. Ah, that's like in the jungle spawn. I hate that. That's yeah. not a good one. All right, that's icy. It's quite icy. And I also don't want it too big, so I'm kind of looking at like this amount of space if I see everything in here. There's a swamp right here. Oh, wait, maybe we boot this up. Chat, what do you think? Look at this. Are the, is the orange the Badlands then? That's the Badlands okay. up there, which is only 1,300 blocks away. Not bad, not bad. Swamp, very large, regular swamp right there. Birch forest, birch forest, forest, plains, savanna. How far away is jungles? Why do we need jungles? It's it, again, it's not a full playthrough. We have specific goals. Jungles are right here, though. Jungles They're, are, you know, tough to clear. They are. There's a dark forest there. There's another mesa over here. I'm going to boot this one up. We'll take a look at this seed. Okay. Blame it all on yourself, but it's always a mesa to me. Bamboo forest for smelting fuel. We could. We could. Let's take a look at this uh, seed and see what we think, guys. Seeds. Uh, do, 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 do. Scaffolding. Scaffolding is a necessity. We do have flax for early string, which is good. Because that was like, if we didn't have chance cubes, we'd probably have a lot less string. Uh, that's a good point. But if we have Mesa or Badlands, then we have those... Um... We also have Flax in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the, it's still but modded. Get more, but we get more string with, um, you know, the mine shafts and stuff. So we don't necessarily have to think about it in completely vanilla terms. Right, 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 right. Cobwebs indeed. The other reason that we're going to do this as a collective build is because this is actually not terrible. Um, is because I'm not. You guys are, are. Here's the other thing. Everybody that gets involved with this 
is going to get a credit in like server testers from in the actual pack. Um, so anybody that's involved with it, you guys are gonna be like server testers, boom. So that's spawn. So this is spawn. That mass in the distance looks amazing. Yeah, this thing over here. That's pretty cool. Not a bad spawn, I agree, I agree. It's pretty flat, so it lends itself pretty well to railways and things like that. It's very piggy. Quadrupeds are good though. Oh, there's a little village here nearby near spawn. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Villages are good. Villages are very good. Oh man, a big hole in the village. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to see the whole holy village? Wow. Well, that's 119 or 118 plus. Like that. That's yeah. that's really nice, though. Look at that. Oh, look. There's even a geode right there. I think. A geode. You 300 want blocks. <laughs> that way. <laughs> you found a sign. I saw the sign. Yep. There's the village right there. Nice. Another village. Another, Another village. Mason. Yeah, we could minimize the amount of savanna. It will be a <laughs> sub server, but it's going to be very specific stuff. We'll talk about the rules and what our goals are. It's we're calling it season one, and it's literally going to be like a month, and that's it. But yes, a sub server. Oh, 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 wait for this chat. Are you guys ready oh. for a new addition? And hopefully as long as it goes well, we're going to be doing this going forward. In game, there's going to be proximity voice. Oh, shit. In Minecraft. Everybody look at my screen. I've literally found a lagoon. We can't. There you go. Looks amazing. It does look amazing. All right, we're over here on the jungle. We're burning the acacia, right? Of course we are. <laughs> we need charcoal. I mean, I mean, there was a, there was some discussion about uh, you know having bamboo for for that, but I'm like, but there's acacia, right? No voice from this dude. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. But the reason that I want to do that is because we're doing collective projects. It makes total sense that sometimes you need to be talking with people about it. But I want to provide the areas to do that and rather than doing like sub server voice room one birth room two four five seventeen forty seven eight, hike right it's um i'm thinking more like it just handles it and you just walk around a game and be like yeah what's up and you can just talk while you're building with somebody i really like this seed there's a nice flower forest over here you would build an acacia train station out of spite <laughs> There is going to be a very, very special build that ha that is going to happen on here, um, which is this. One of the collective projects is that we can only tour the world by train. So if your build isn't on the line, you don't get visited. So we need to have... Railway builders, and then some communicate with, uh, hey, I'm building over here. Can the railway designer, you know, make a path to come up this way? That kind of stuff like that. Congrats on already having the worst build on this. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Now, Take that, that Acacia. Um, that being said, I want to find the mesa is what I'm trying to do over here. Let me see this map again. We're about jungle. I'm like here, aren't I? So it's just slightly west.
I mean, I haven't seen very many, like, ah. 118 plus seeds that haven't been nice looking, but this is, this is, this is a nice one. I like it a lot. It's a pretty nice Mesa thing. So there's going to be some coordination that needs to happen um, for the server. And again, this is one of those servers that we're going to be doing a short run. This is nice, actually. This is a this is a this has got all the the nice Mesa features down here. This is a this is a challenge. This is a challenge railway bridge. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Ooh, pretty. Maybe I'll just make a little saloon, <laughs> just for old times' sake. <laughs> A little saloon? Yeah, let's make a little saloon over there in the Badlands. We could make it we could make it next to the train station, you know, it makes sense. Dude, if we would get a freaking dude golem, I could name him Difficult Pete and put him in the saloon. <laughs> or nice. in front of the saloon. <laughs> oh, back when the Tekken Pack they had the rail themed villages. I think there was um was it not Oh wow. Oh my god, what's the mod called? Um the rail the railroad one. I keep thinking Steve's carts. Is that the one? No, not or the not Steve's carts. Railcraft? Carts. Railcraft. The one but yeah, the one before Steve's carts. Okay. Railcraft, that's the one. They had a bunch of villager stuff in that. No, Ella, I th I think I know what you're talking. I was trying to Ooh. figure out um was that Skulk it's um it's a create block called uh is it Azolite? The blue stuff? This blue stuff here, if you look at my screen. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is some beautiful things. And I love the way Create spawns it. Like, I mean, I hate mining it, but I like the way the way it looks with like stripes with other blocks. Like, that looks awesome. So my goal here when doing this server is I want to build something collectively, but I don't want people to feel like, oh, they, I don't want to fuck it up, right? You don't want people to feel like they can't contribute. Exactly. Yeah, we want everybody to contribute. I don't want, and I don't want you to feel like, oh, I can't play that much, so I'm not going to jump in. No, build a house, you know, like just something like that. Um, and then we'll have, we'll do a whole Discord channel for this. I'm kind of liking the seeds so far, though, guys. I love this. Look at, look how big this village is. You know, that, it doesn't take much to keep me happy. Is there villagers? Yay! Until I have to move them, and then I'm, they're my worst enemy. Oh, you mean this blue shit right here? That I stuff. I mean that blue shit. Wait, you're right where I just was. That stuff you mean, right? Yeah, I the swear Azurina. to God, are you? You're just where I just was. Wow, it's actually a really cool little. I know. That's what I was saying. That, that's I flew down in there. I'm like, that is amazing. But I'm coming back. So we can be together. It, exactly, Barbarian, and that's perfect for what, what I'm thinking, right? It doesn't. It, some people want to build farms, and we're gonna have places for that. Some people want to do be the. There he is. The, uh, the the Grand Railroad designers and things like that. Right, I, I see you. Oh, you see me? Hi. I'm ah! interested in playing with other people, and I can. I promise I'll up up a few. No, that's just, that's still the the thing, right? Literally, wait, you you watch us play. Like we never fuck anything up. So. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is, is it's kind of a little bit low key. The purpose obviously is to have fun, but it's also low key to see how well it does on the so, on a sub server. It is modded after all, and uh, <laughs> if you know about modded subservers, but uh, they get a little uh, they get a little rough sometimes. Oh my god! Are you at the same village I am? There's two nitwits in here, dude. <laughs> you need mechanic. People can build farms, and we're yeah. gonna have specific. But here's the idea, right? I want this to be more of. I want to have purposes to go different places and purposes and reasons to get together. So instead of having 50 iron farms everywhere. Which have like one iron farm area like we do right now. But, but like go all out with the iron farm. Yeah. It's, make it, you're providing iron for everyone. Yeah. Right. And then maybe somebody wants to do like the farmer stuff. But it, even in that case, it doesn't have to be like super insane, but it's, it's like. Maybe somebody builds a fun little create enchanting thing. Exactly, that's in use. there too. Yep, yep, yep. But so um, if it sounds like something that you're into, guys. Uh, that's that's kind of. I would like to do some community stuff. It sounds amazing. Well, there's a lot of jungle here. So what do you think bamboo? about the seed? I really like the seed. I need to go look at the mesa because I haven't seen that yet. I mean, the badlands. 
the lands that are bad. Thank you. Is there no pandas on this joint? I mean, somebody, we could do the, the nature preserve like we have on ours, like a, you know, where all the animals are together in one place that we could go by and see them all. Just Dance Deluxe 23 is on sale. Uh, I want like I want to make like a whole place to play Just Dance. I was watching, um, I was watching it on Twitch the other day, and I was like, I want to play Just Dance again. I miss it. So much fun. Are you by the swamp? You're not even close to the Mesa. I'm not. Oh no. Oh no. I'm like um, I don't know where am I. I'm like east of Spawn. Oh wait, Swamp is like right here. Where's the Mesa? North of you. Just go okay. straight north. Go straight north. Roop. This way. Uh, so Spawn was here. It should be right here. Ugh. Small, small ga gauge rail gauge rail lines from the mines or the timber lands back to the warehouse or bigger rail. I grew up in a region with lousy... Uh, was lousy with them back in the day. Yeah, stuff like that. I'd love to see it. I think it'd be really cool. It could be a very fun time. We are going to sort of need... Um, this is weird how this is like biome line right here. It is a definite strong biome line. It is a strong biome line. Sepia tone. <laughs> Look at all these nice plains, though. South. Should be like right here. I don't think Create does narrow and standard, but uh, you can always use the vanilla. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this! Oh my god, there's a mine shaft right there too! Nice. Look at this fucking shit. Can you believe that this is the same game we started playing like <laughs> nine years ago or whatever? <laughs> there's our string. <laughs> This is incredible. Create is one size, but maybe do a single rail to and from the farms and double rail for full transport. Here's the thing. The rail spacing. All right, here's the swamp, by the way. It's right here. That's actually a really good swamp. Well, that is a good swamp. We'll be able to make some good... Uh... Actually, a really, really good swamp to do a, a farm in. Look at oh that. God, this thing goes the whole way down. I like when things go the whole way down. Ha <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a really solid swamp for this. Oh my god, even that. Look at that. Oh my god, look at that. It's actually perfect. Oh, that's perfect. There's a farm area right there. Yep. Wow. This is amazing. This is the this is one of the coolest like natural things I've ever seen. Like this calm water here, and then it goes down in mine shaft and Are you here? No, it's a different one. Mine doesn't have dripstone. It's pretty impressive. Dude. The fact that we could have like... The college I went to near Fresno had a small rail line that picked up lumber and oranges from the Sierra foothills. I went to, no one wants to go to Fresno. <laughs> Yo, Wiley E. Coyote! Hey. Good evening at Wheel Playcast and Chat. Good evening, Good Wiley evening Coyote. To you as well. Thank you very much for that resub. Really appreciate it. We're just talking about uh, how we're going to make a new sub server with our pack on it, and we're going to play on it for a season and try to uh, have as many trains as possible and no crashes. That's correct. No, I mean, min I guess minimize the amount of crashes. Is there a deep dark anywhere close to spawn? They're usually in the they're usually in the um, badlands, right? Underneath the badlands. Why not? Oh, CB, CB, thank you so much for ten gifted subs. That's incredible, dude. Thank you very very much. Thank you. That's that that really means a lot. Seriously. But I, I do want you guys to feel uh, like what should what kind of farm should we work towards? I guess like what should we have? Like I think iron farm is good. Iron farm is definitely good. I think especially with create. 
We're gonna need that. And I, I, I'm thinking mining trains. I don't necessarily want to like restrict people if they don't want to do train version of mining. Oh no, 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 no. I know, like, but mining, mining will be like we'll need andesite. We'll need all kinds of. Well, you know, I did a lot of manual mining on. Yeah, a gold farm. Gifted a sub the pretzels. All right. Do it a hype train. Let's go. Oh God. This Animals is... will need will need food. Ah yes 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 we do need we do need actual like animal husbandry and whatnot. <laughs> husbandry. Gold farm absolutely. Absolutely gold farm. Andesite alloy means tons of zinc or iron. That's true. That's true. Yep. Copper. We uh, need lots of copper. Copper is a big stuff. one. Yeah, we do need copper as well. Kelp farm for the belts. Yep. Yo, Barbarian gets one of pretzel rocks. <laughs> appropriate for the day. Very appropriate. I love it. Thank you guys so much for the freaking support and the hype trains. Y'all are incredible. Is there I, a good copper farm, I actually? Didn't get, I didn't get to the I didn't get to the Mesa yet. Do you have a do you have a rough coordinates? Mm. Uh, 1643 minus 1572. 1643 minus 1572. Holy crap. Okay. I overshot a little bit. Dude, guys, thank you so much for that support. Pickles. Do drowns still drop copper? They do, yes. I was thinking that too, but pretzels. I remember. Oh. Pretzels. Sorry. Ella, thank you. Pretzels. Thank you for the thank you for the the bits and thank you for the uh assistance in uh baking soda prep. Lava production. Yeah, lava production will be a thing for yeah. sure. Yeah. Ah! Ah! I almost wilded myself. Flying a little low. Practicing animal husbandry until they caught him at it one night. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. The only thing... Uh, do, do converted drown drop copper? Yes. Okay. They just don't drop tridents. I know that. Correct. And they don't drop not of the shells or that. Okay. Farming drowns is a little tough, though, and the drop it's rate is kind of bad. That's but nothing else drops copper, does it? No, it's yeah. the only one. Yeah. So if we want to get a, if we, if you wanted something to drop it, yeah. Where the hell am I? I'm over here. Yeah, you're not even even close. That's why I asked for the coordinates. I'm gonna go up that way too. Yeah, zombie farm could work. Flower forest. Yeah, um, I, I did. I passed a flower for us. Oh, nice. That's actually good. That was pretty close to spawn, actually. No copper is this, dropper? Is this the one that you saw? Oh, my God. This is incredible. I, I love how it doesn't matter how many times we've, like, spawned a world. Minecraft to be, uh, be Minecraft in you. Know. I found another one, too. Look at that. Oh, my God. Perfect. Ah, 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 ah. Fine, don't mind me. I'm, I'm glad that you guys are already going, like, oh, I'm thinking about it. Ah, I love I it. I can do this. I can yes, do this. Yes, because we need everybody's noggins to think of what to do. That's how we'll... See my ghostly head? Well, uh, I'm the haunted. The Piglin Bartering Farm is an option. Yeah. If you yeah, there's many get... options for that, yeah. I love the idea of having the um, soul speed boots. If we do get a book of that, we can replicate it with the Create Enchanter. I thought I saw a, a, an iron golem, and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a dude. Mm. Actually, I shouldn't be looking at that, because if I find a dude, I'm screwed. Kind of true. Because this isn't the actual world. There's only a chance of a dude. Yeah, no power, but we will need a stone factory. Thank you for the resub. Wait, we're supposed to think? I, it's Wait, an option. We're supposed to think. <laughs> Stand up. 
You got to think about that 90 month resub. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Thank you, Trist. I really appreciate that. And yeah, I mean, thinking it's, it's, you know, smiled upon. Thinking is optional. It's encouraged, not necessary. I do love a shattered Savannah, though. Did I make it? I made it. At you long it. last. Well, I found a little one. Oh, there they go. It's grown up at the very ground. Instead huh. of raiders, there's protesters. Stop mining now. Where should I drop screenshots, guys? Uh, for what? Water Seeds? wheel plant. Or what? Oh, you can just put it. You just put it in general. A water wheel power plant. Very cool. Just drop it in general, yeah. Oh, for the water wheel power plant. I got you. Got you. Ew, these are gross. These are what are these like oak trees? But just. The top of the Badlands is all this gross, coarse dirt stuff. Ew. I don't like it. Thank you so much for the hype train, everybody. We we couldn't do this without you. And you know, such a great community makes us want to play games with you. I'm wondering if we have a problem. <gasps> what? What problem? I haven't seen a single deep dark. All right, I'm gonna I'm going under here. Because uh, I think they're generally supposed to be under here. Supposed to be under the uh, Badlands. Can be. Holy Actually, no, this is on, it's on the map. Holy crapazoid. <laughs> Eroded Badlands. I like going down and finding geodes, so those are fun. Looking for the skulk. Huh? Yeah, we're looking for a deep dark. Yes, we are. This might not be the seed. Oh, no. Wait, there's one here. Where is it? How far out is that? Oh, that's not bad, actually. I don't think. Where's I, Swan? I passed some... Uh, I passed, um, mm. I think, an icy mountain a little bit ago. What's it under, Rush? Uh, it's under a dark forest. Is it really? Yeah. I see a lush cave over there. It's going to go float over here, my guy. It's a few thousand blocks out. Forty-four thirty-six. Thank you for the research. <laughs> I interrupt your search for this announcement. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks, Judge J Lo. Appreciate that. Forty-four thirty-six. What is this game? Look at this. This is insanity. All these, like the lush cave stuff just hanging down and then all the, oh, this is just, this is crazy awesome. I know it'd be really challenging, but to have like a train going through here at the bottom would look so cool. Come on, D Dimension Dude. Good night. Good night, Dimension Dude. Now, this is pretty far. I like everything else about this, though. Sorry, gonna miss the soft pretzels. Here, I'll give you a little of this. The dough, the dough can. is rising. Oh yeah, I see. It's it's a little bumpy up there, huh? It is bumpy. I see. He's, he's bumping against the towel. How far away was was that the skulk one? I had it now. You see the bulge? You see the bulge? 
It's got a bulge right there. Yeast bump doesn't sound healthy. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Gross. But it's great if you're uh, doing pretzels, right? This would be awesome to run a train through, too. <laughs> that sounds so bad when I say that. But look, like, imagine if you, you have a train and it comes through here and it goes choo choo. You have a little, you have a little like, pre made tunnel in here. <laughs> Somebody asked Raj about whether he was drumming with yeast with breadsticks earlier. Oh yeah. And I was like thinking of that emote. Mm -hmm. Am I drumming with breadsticks? That guy is. Look at him go. Yes he is. Monument Valley. The only thing, though, right, and I, and I realized this after we played our pack, we could we could go around and fly through uh -huh. a world and uh -huh. go, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But when you approach that, when you first it's start scary. a world, you're like, uh, it's a it's a little scary, I know. Uh, desert village. Oh, this nitwit really likes his golem. He was giving him a hug. Desert village. Oh, look, this has a little, like, cow farm with little cows. How cute is that? Dude, if you were an actual, like, dwarf, this is, like, fucking dwarf. Dwarf paradise? Look at it. This is just, like, you make the dwarven village down here. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's Moria. You just got slammed at the sleepies. Oh, no. You just finished The Princess Bride for the first time? Really, Scarlet Air? Oh, that's such a great movie. I realize that that has a heavy nostalgia hit for, like, people around our age. Um, but I, still, I think it still holds up. I think that one still holds up. Hello, lady. It's a highly quotable, that's for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh boy. I know I've been watching it for the first time since I was like ten. I know we're asking a lot of your PC right now, huh? Not really. No. We're asking a lot of Minecraft. Well, we do that. I'm a girls trip for graduation and Taylor Swift. Oh, that's right. You're going to see Taylor Swift. I forgot. You're play watching that playing just dance tonight. That sounds like a fucking fun. That sounds like a fucking fun day. Did you like it, Scarlett? Did you like the movie? I know they're going to have to start Minecraft's gonna have to start giving us ropes like Terraria to get us out of caves. I think they should, right? I, I'm starting to think so with all of this generation that maybe they should. Top 10 romance, yeah, it's very good. See, that's how you do, that's how you do a movie that has something for everybody. It's got a little romance, it's got comedy, it's got good dialogue got action, story, character development. It has all the things. Christopher Guest. <laughs> Andre the Giant. R.I.P. Mandy Patinkin. At least I can learn room layouts. I meant you suck. <laughs> Comedy duo over here.
<laughs> the sassy grandson grandparent dynamic. A little bit. Did you make it to the skulk yet? No. That's not a good sign. I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. But after what you said, I'm not even sure I want to be that anymore. Humpening. Humpening. I thought the only other indicator of skulk in the overworld was uh, Badlands. Uh, it's just, it, it was more, that was like more bro science. It was just like, I see more bro of Bro science. Yeah, it was bro science. <laughs> I don't ever hear that in like, in Minecraft terms. <laughs> I'll never hear that with like working out stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's the thing. It's not, it, it wasn't. That's, that was what makes The Princess Bride such a good movie is it's not, none of it is shoehorned in. It all feels very like natural. Got it. Gorgeous, how are you how far are you from spawn? Oh my goodness, it's Anna Thale. Hello, long time no see. I hope you're well. Anna Thale, how are you? What's going down? Uh we're checking out seeds for the uh, potential seed for a unique subsurfer that we're gonna do. Season one of the Builders Railway. Fair enough, Mecca. That you weren't specifically referencing, but I feel like that still stands for the movie in general. No part of it felt shoehorned in. Every part of it felt relevant to the story. That's 5,600 from Spawn. That's a long way. But let's just say this, right? Hmm. Stuck at work, but that's usual for the weekend since I only work weekends. Fair ah, enough, fair enough. Expected. We are cooking, by the way, tonight. Uh, currently, dough's rising. We're making some uh, oh. soft pretzels. So, let's just say this then. Um, yeah, oh, Barbarian gift the one to Anna Thank you so much. Barbarian. Thank you so much, Barbarian. Remember that this is a short run server. This is not a do everything, do all the stuff right, kind it's of not, server. It's, it's not an achievement hunting server. Right. Or advancement because we're playing Minecraft and they have a different word for it. And I think you guys may be surprised at how quickly it goes by. Like, is it a deal breaker if this is that far away? I don't think so because what do we need it for? It's still a single day. Somebody can go grab the stuff and then farm the stuff. You can, right. you can, you can make more of the things. I nominate Blake J. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here to defend himself, is he? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I saw him quite yet. Just to lose a few Overwatch rounds and then I'll be in. <laughs> True. I guess, Chad, is that a I, deal breaker? I Should say no, but seed? yeah, ask, ask everybody else what they think, but I say no. I'm still kind of on board with this seed. The seed has a lot of the things like, that we like. I like this seed a lot. Yeah. I'm going to go fly through the spider spawner. Ah! Is what a deal breaker. That's uh, the deep dark is 5,000 blocks away. We have trains. Yes. No, deep dark isn't a necessity for anything. It's... What, what do we get from there? I don't even remember what we get from there now. But here's the deal. If you do if you do this, right? Um, like, let's say if you really wanted to. you ne Yeah, Trist is on it. You can nether train 5,000 blocks very quickly. Good point. Good point. So, yeah, you can get there pretty easily. Swift Sneak. Yeah, Swift Sneak is pretty good. That's what it is. That's I, No, you're right. You're right. It's just that um, I didn't remember what it was. I'm like, I know there's a reason What's to go that? get there. 
That's a prime set. Yo, Red Dog hey, dropping in the prime. What's this button do? Well, it makes us happy. <laughs> it sure does. I felt it move, Hermie. It moved. What moved? It moved. <laughs> when I got that prime sub. Oh. Ooh. Hey. Thanks, well, Red Dog. Appreciate that, dude. Oh, my. Almost a full stack of months. Even nether portal hopping isn't that bad. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It makes their dough rise. It does. I'm going to call this um, the preliminary seed. I'm going to pop it over in the Discord, guys, uh, in the general chat. And we're going to have more information coming very, very soon, by the way. Um, very, very soon. With this, let me just drop this. Uh, actually, I'll just do it like this. Seed. Uh, candidate. Candidate one. You guys feel free to check it out. It's over on the Discord. Uh, on the seed map there. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that into this one as well. And that one. I forgot about this green one. The Viridium. This stuff's cool, too. I like creates little colorful blocks. They're very good. They're amazing. Is there anything else you want to check? What did we look for already? We found a bunch of different biomes. We found like we found cold biomes, didn't we? I don't know that we necessarily need cold biomes. I know, but if people wanted to to do what? I don't know. Because it's a, again, it's a collective. The object true, is true. is that we're we're trying to give everything connected in a, like a a system, right? True. You would like a cold biome? Well, let's take a look at the seed. I mean, have the seed ready. Oh, there's one right there. I thought I saw one pretty close to spawn. And one right there. It's probably a peak. There you go. You get chili. You get chili. Speaking of chili, guess what? What? Wendy's is releasing their chili in cans. What? Wendy's. Why? Is releasing their Why? chili in cans. You do realize. All right, so here's I the deal. I, look, I, I worked at Wendy's, all right? And you know what's in the chili? You know the burgers that didn't make it through the day? That goes in the in the in the freezer, and then they break that out and put it in the chili. I guess it's not terrible. No, that's not terrible. That's a that's a good way to not put that stuff to waste. But I do find that the particular here's some cold biome right here, pretty close to spawn right here. Um, oh, that's a nice looking one too. It's a Lots of ice. It's, it's you know this is this is California. It's what you could go surfing, <laughs> you could go hiking, and you go skiing all in the same day. <laughs> it's not a massive one, but. There's a cold bio. I agree that Wendy's chili is pretty bland. I find their burgers to be um, very, very grease heavy. Very nice. I, I found a sign, Raj, and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. All I know is they're blo blocking up the scenery and breaking my mind. Do this. Don't do that. Can't you read the sign? Oh, look, and you have a little bamboo. It's like right here. Look at that. No problem, no problem. I think this is a pretty solid candidate, actually. I like it. I like a lot of things I've seen on it. There's a lot of good formations. There's a lot of um, diverse biomes pretty close to spawn. Looks like a lot of wildlife that we can rope into being conductors. So for those who are interested, here's where I'd like to go next. We have some primary goals that we'd like to achieve, but I would say let's have a little discussion and we'll, we'll, we'll put this over in the Discord for it, of like what the planning stuff should be. What type of farm? I mean, we already talked about like lava. Yes, let's have a lava place, right? So somebody's gonna sure. have to be on lava detail. Mm -hmm. The lava the lava line, or whatever, right? Lava line. Lava line supply. And then um, we talked about a gold farm, right? How the gold farm happens. Do we want to do the nether variety of it? Do we want to do uh, digging in the mesa variety of it? You mm -hmm. know, however mm -hmm. we want to accomplish that. Uh, but just like what what primary functions we would like in our society 
for season one. And so we can sort of be like, all right, who wants to do what? Uh, we're also going to need people to do the transportation system. Um, Pickle Dot. <laughs> but it's uh, Pickle Dot. Oh my god! But it's uh, but it's for like the you know the the, the railway engineers. We need um, the railway engineers, the pickle, train yards. Pickle Dot has two T's. It's Pickle Department of Train Transportation. There you go. Two T's. Pickle Dot. Pickle Dot. Look at this village. And you have this insane thing, like right next to Spawn. Whoa. The free climb goal. <laughs> That's really close, too. What we could do, right? So we could have our primary station. We're going to have a, a, you know, a centralized village near spawn somewhere-ish, right? It doesn't have to be exactly at spawn, right? But we could be like... I don't want to do it like the shops where we flatten an area because that always feels like half vacant it feels like the mall like the bad mall <laughs> right um like like it feels like half the stores are empty right there's nobody there i know exactly what you mean but we can have a little space that'll have like the the primary train station that, that goes off and branches out um to other transport areas now uh i do i, I want to encourage like if somebody's doing the railway and somebody doesn't want to do the railway be like hey um railway person whoever's doing that have uh can you have the train station come through here or whatever right that and miranda see food farm perfect exactly that'd be great we'll definitely need that and we all I, need food to stay alive what's super important to me is i want to make make sure that everybody feels comfortable building i don't want anybody to go into it and be like i don't want to fuck it up i don't want to fuck it up yeah we want everybody have questions everybody to contribute for sure Please, please, I want feel like feel like your your contribution is most welcome. I guess is the best way to put it. Oh my God, Eon and Team Safety hating irresponsible transport will contract services to Pickle Dot, bring it back. Eat, eat shit, shit railroad. <laughs> That's so funny. Eon and Team Safety hating irresponsible <laughs> transport. <laughs> All right, so what do we think of the seed though? Everybody feeling it? If it, yeah, please um. I put it, I link I linked it by the way so Ross you guys linked it so everybody can like look at it on their own too and see if they you have any concerns or the only cautionary to I would tell I've done a lot of seed hunting and um, the one thing I will say is the map is deceptively you're looking at it at a very large scale yeah 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 so like when you see something over there it's like oh shit that's seventeen thousand blocks up exactly uh soon TM derpy I got to make sure that people that are currently playing I know Miranda was one uh, one of the the last ones currently playing on the current sub server. And uh, I just make sure that everybody's and nobody's logged in for a month. Um, but we are going to be running this until the very short lived. I'm going to say like a month is, is the, the server is only going to be live for a month. It is not a long term world. I want to be very clear about that. Yeah, it is season one. And then we have a tally at the end that we give season one score. Right. Last few days have sucked. How y'all doing? Doing pretty good. Hey, Cass. I'm sorry your days have sucked. Yeah, a month to break some shit. Exactly, exactly. Uh, but I want to do it uh, soon. A month to learn trains. So <laughs> this weekend, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. And again, one of the things that's going to happen on this server, you don't have to join into this, but there will be voice proximity. Um, Look at all the turtles. Twiddles. This is also a good way to control the server's lagging bitching. Well, that's the thing with a la with a modded server pretty much inevitably, right? Especially if we treat it as an open world scenario, be like, go out and play Minecraft, right? If we do that, then the server will inevitably have somebody that, or not one person, like collectively make crazy ass farms, get a little bored, have something chunk loaded somewhere and don't ever log back in, right? And then all of a sudden, that one person's modded base is bringing the server down to about 10 TPS. We play on Forgecraft. We know this well. True. Um, True. So. Hey, Banian. The longevity of a modded server usually doesn't take that long to, like, really grind it to a halt. And everybody's like, ah, I don't want to play that laggy piece of shit anymore. Right? Again, we play on Forgecraft. We know this. <laughs> right. Right. 
So uh, we'll do a, I want to do a short season, short seasons, but I think it's something that we could do in the future. This is just season one. Yeah. You know? Because after season one, then you try to beat season one's score. Yeah. But wiping it after a month or so, right? Right? I want to go in with the expectation. I want to make sure everybody's very clear on that, right? <laughs> very yeah, we, clear. We have to know that this is not a forever world. There will be a download available if you want to make it your forever world. But that being said, it, it will not be up. <gasps> oh. Ziggy, stop. Guess what time hey. it is, chat? Oh my God, this is what a sponge room looks like? That's what a sponge room looks like. Attention, I never, I've never Someone seen one. Wants to hear a dad joke. Black is a given. All right, Mecca. True. Brave soul. I'm actually going to do something very smart. I'm going to turn that off while we go to the cookie stream. Ah, that is smart. Ziggy, tell me a joke. If you're looking for a good deal on a power supply, I'd recommend trying an electrical outlet. Jesus wow. Christ. Wow. Is that even a joke? That's really bad. All right, I'm turning that off really now. That's really bad. <laughs> Holy shit. I've never seen a sponge room before. I just saw one for the first time because I, like, am spectatoring this guardian temple thing. Good lord. That's a terrible joke. That was just bad. Like, bad, right? You want a good deal on it? Do you want a good deal? Yeah. <laughs> Channel points. Hermie, this is a note to self. A note for you, for a note for me. A note for us? Remind me to turn the dad joke thing back on. I'll do my best. Oh, it'd be a shame if no, you didn't remember to turn the dad joke thing back on. All right, there we go. Not the dad jokes. That way we don't have that situation, which inevitably happens during a cooking stream, where it's like, but the thing's out there, man. We can't even hear it, bro. But better without the pause, to be honest. I agree. I agree. So just uh, real quick, though. Um... So, like, here's Spawn. You can kind of see it on the map if you were clicking through. And you'd be like, oh, look, there's a snow biome here. That snow biome is 5,000 by 4,000 out from Spawn. That's, That's pretty one. far. There actually is a mushroom biome right there. Actually, there's three mushroom islands. Huh? Like, just north of Spawn, too. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Which means, which means, which means, which means, which means. I know what this means. We can have lots of pickle conductors. We can have lots of pickles. <laughs> lots of pickle conductors. Oh my God, there's even more over here. Damn. Hello, mushroom plethora. And yes, for this particular sub server, for the first time ever, we're releasing the seed before we start, guys. So I know, that know. never happens. Well, I want it to be, you know, we, we, can, get, we can I want to plan, plan it yeah, a little plan. bit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Makes sense. Well, our pretzels are riz. It's time to cook, Grandma. <laughs> it's time to cook, chat. Wait. A lot of name tags so we can name all the mushrooms pickles. True. Well, you can get those by trading villagers. So that's one way to get them. You feeling the seed, Hermie? I'm feeling it. You feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? You know what I'm feeling? Some dough between my hands. <laughs> Ooh, chat. It's almost time. It's time right now. It's time right now. It beeped. The thing went off. It's time. Which means it's time. Guys, we'll meet you in the kitchen. A few short moments. We're right back to the food and drink category. It's pretzel time, everybody. Get high. Pretzel time. All right. Uh, we'll be right back. I put a lot of lipstick on that man. <laughs> she did. She did indeed.
All right, check, check. Chat, can you hear us? We're back. Hello, hello. Doe cam. We have, well, not yet, but they will. In three, two, one. Boom. Nice. I'm just going to wash my hands off real quick here. Yes, yeah, same actually. Bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you turned the water off on Mirage. I guess I'm not so bad. Doe cam. Doe cam. All right, here we go. Big reveal. I can already tell it's at least doubled inside. Your ball is bulging. You guys ready? <laughs> You're going to show your bulging stream? Oh. <gasps> That's a nice looking ball of dough, I got to say. That's some dough. That is a great looking ball of dough. What do our, um, what do our instructions say? Well, I think you probably want to start some of the sauces. I'll be honest. You'll be honest? All right, we also need to take our baking soda out. Yes, that's exactly what I was just thinking of doing. I will do that. Um, let me just grab a hot mitt here behind your butt. Got it. Evening, Asiga. Hello, hello. You like that bulging bowl of dough? All right, what's our I'm assuming that you'll be either baking soda. Yes, we're doing the baking soda bath. Yep. Oops. And we actually baked the baking soda, which is a thing. That is, that is a thing. And we're doing three dipping sauces today. Oh, um, I think you guys will enjoy this one. We did pick up, I think this was recommended by many, the Sierra Nevada Stout Stone Ground Mustard. What's our baking temp? On the ingredients, 450 degrees. 450. 450. It's a hot one. I have to take off my sweatshirt. Tis a hot one. It's a hot one. All right, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the cheese sauce. Army's gonna work on the cheese sauce. I'm gonna work on the cheese sauce. Um. Okay. Bring ten cups of water and the baking soda to a royally royal rolling boil in an eight <laughs> quart saucepan or roasting pan. I'm thinking that we're gonna use the spider whisk thingies for this too. Yes, absolutely. Rolling boil. Rolling boil. Rolling you know, boil. Um, Akbara. Um, I uh. <laughs> when we when we were oh, doing yeah, we're research, about that. yeah, yeah, we were doing research, and Raj said, um, "Home bit." Uh, this this keeps saying like Baker's lie, and yeah. I'm like, "What food, the hell is Baker's lie? I don't want that in the it's house." Like food grade lie, and I was like, "What the hell? Food grade lie? I don't even know we want it in the house." <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't want that anywhere. In, I don't want it in the same room as all the cast iron pans. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna be. If anybody remembers when we did the burgers. We did like the Welsh rarebit um, cheese sauce. I'm gonna be making like a half recipe of that. Oh. Raj, I've decided. You baked it with the stickers. I know, I did. Shh, don't, no, I, I didn't. That didn't happen, it's fine. No, it's that's fine. fine, they're fine. It's fine. So, I think I, I've, I've made, I'm calling an audible right now. Gone? Instead of using the beer, I'm going to use that mustard because it has the beer flavor. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of extra milk. So I won't need to open a beer just for this. Okay. So that is what we'll be doing. And I'll need the smaller... I'm thinking that we need a big ass pot for this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get that. All right, so if you if we can boil that on the back one, so I can use this one to make the cheese sauce, will that be okay? Yeah. All right, so here's the problem that I'm running into right now. Timing on this is really weird because we have to roll the pretzels, boil them, and then bake them. Correct. But I think we should both give it a tenth on the. Oh, absolutely. On the thing. So I'm getting the big pot, big pot for the boil, and uh, I'm actually just going to do this. This is we baked the baking soda. So we have that bit, and that's gonna go into the pot right now. And that's two thirds of a cup of baking soda. I don't know if that was baked enough. That was measured, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, now I don't have to, we don't have to worry about that. No, so. I got you. I totally understand that. Let's put that over there for now. And then, it, it says 10 cups, but this one I don't think it really, just, well, it kind of matters the um Should I should I measure 10 cups? Yeah, get the big with the big boy. Yeah, get the big boy. That's what the big boy is for. All right. 
It's only slightly awkward to get to the sink, and here's a lovely picture of my back. It's a nice back. I know it's like it, it is kind of a. <laughs> if you don't open a beer, what are you gonna measure? I'm gonna measure out some beer right now. All right, that's eight. Eight cups. Yeah, that's eight. Okay. I don't know how much that holds, so. And then two more for 10. Because if you add too much water, it won't be like basic enough, you know? That seems like it'll be fine, I think. The pretzel could go in there. Can we scoop it with the thing? Probably. I think so. Okay. Now, for this phase of things, I'm gonna go ahead and dry this off as much as possible. This just had water in yep. it. It'll be there for now. All right, so. Can I have a knife and a whisk? Please and thanks. Whisk. What kind of knife? Oh, just a butter knife. Thank you. <clears throat> do we want to put on the... Uh, it matters a lot. Okay, gotcha. Do we want to put on the um, stove cam? Yes. If it will work. Hey! Bring 10 cups of water to the baking soda to roll, roll, boil. Roll, boil. All right, that's the uh, back one there. It should be good. In the meantime, cut the dough into eight. Into wait. In the meantime, turn the turn the dough onto a slightly oiled work surface and divide into eight equal pieces. Roll each piece out of dough into twenty-four inch ropes. Make a U shape. Hold she holding the tights of the rope. I think I got that part. All right, so we're gonna two foot rope, huh? I'm just gonna lightly flour the, the surface here. That's all I'm gonna do. Just gonna instead of oiling our counter, we're just gonna lightly flour yeah. it. Yeah. So it doesn't stick. Oh yeah, see, see, uh huh, uh huh. That's why I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not liking the sound of that oiling up your work surface either. All right, and now we just need to eight equal pieces. We want to press it so it like kind of deflates, right? I'm hoping. I don't know. Um, so it's gonna deflate when you're working with it anyway, right? It is. So I'm thinking if I just sort of do that, right? And make it sort of a square and then oh, do i oh my god on the counter though oh i don't know do you want to get the cutting no 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 no. i know what you i know what you're getting i know what you're getting all right i've never this. used it before chat yeah. give me this boom the mezzaluna So Raj's brother that does word, woodworking actually made the handle and put those together. So that's exciting, yeah. We actually having you. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I think that worked nice. kind of good. That will work. Pog. Oh, you want to smell the mustard? I do kind of want to smell the mustard. Oh. Ooh. Ooh? Yeah, I want to go back to the thing and get more of this. Oh, hell yeah. It smells so good. Thank you, everybody, for recommending this. I'm glad they had it at Grocery Outlet. Okay, so here we go. Mustard doesn't, like, go bad, right? I don't I don't know what this I'm doing. This is best Fine. I'm rolling it. I'm rolling it. Italian stream easy, right? This is not, like, catch. There we go. There we go. Roll it into a rope. That's what we're doing. It's not. It's not like. It's like sliding. Not like. You know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna try to stretch it and roll it and stretch it and roll it.
Roll. There it is. There it is. Now we're moving. A little. A little. Got too flowery here, chat. Too flowery. Oh man, it's got all flowery God, with it. Oh, y'all smells so nice and flowery. It's sliding. It ain't rolling. What's this? This is Sister sauce. Love it. Yep, your counter is a bit smooth for pretzel rolling. You want something like wood? Yeah, well. Well, we can do this though. Pretty much. I'm gonna hit that with a little flour on there. Hold on a sec. Okay. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much better. I don't appreciate your roux. I appreciate your room. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let this. This is on very low heat. This is like three. So we're just gonna let this cook a little bit to have this the raw flour taste out of it. It's looking a bit better. This is working a bit better too. Okay, okay, okay. Is that is that enough? It looks like some sort of awkward weirdness, but you know, whatever. It's so awkward. And so what do we do? We do this. Is that enough? That might not be enough. It feels like it was Putting a healthy teaspoon of this in here. Of this delicious mustard. A little more, a little more, a little more. All right, so we do that. Then we do that, that. These are the tiniest pretzels ever. That's a pretzel. Look at that. Let me see, let me see your pretzel. Hey, it looks good. It's cute. And I think I have a little tip that I heard this. Watch this, chat. Let's see if our pro pretzel maker agrees with this one. All right, watch this. I'm gonna grab a cup of just a little bit of like warm water. Keep it over here. I'm gonna do this. Dip, dip, boop, 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 boop. Boom. Just to keep that attachment there, yeah? That's my first pretzel ever. If you wanted about three quarters of your full wingspan, so that's probably a lot, that's probably gonna be the thicker boy. We wanna do more, less than that. Less thick. Now there's this, yeah, do the spin thing, right? Where you go. <laughs> that little thing. That's the that's the part that um we're not gonna professionally get. I don't think. What? All right, this is gonna get a little easier as time goes on here. I think. Although I'm still, this is still like sliding and not like gripping, which is making this a little tough to do. All right. Try it. It's really fun. I don't know the technique. So you, you does this even work? Can I do kind of stuff like this? <laughs> you know, takes a fair amount of practice. I'm sure it does. I feel like that's something I could probably get pretty good at, though. Uh, it's oh, still not really it. grabbing, though. It's like. It's like sliding. It's still sliding on this. Even though it has like a texture to it. A little heavy cream over here for our cheese sauce. Mm. 
getting whiskey with it. So that that was probably too thick for the first one. It's fine though. It's fine. So it's, it's they're gonna all turn out perfect. We right? are learning as we go. Hemi's making a hey. sauce over there. Hey Raj. Maybe press it too hard on it, Raj. Hey Raj. What do you think? What's up? You know how we need melted butter for later. <laughs> Can you grab me a plate or something real quick? We have melted the butter. Well, it's uh, on a very hot oven. I know, that's why I was trying to move it. So many things at once. So little. Minecraft got realistic real quick. <laughs> it, it's been known to happen on our stream on Friday nights. We grinded the wheat. Yep, the, the wheat farm has is, is produced us with some flour, so now we gotta... We gotta know. harvest craft us up some pretzels. I'm, this is super light. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing this, I'm not pushing. Like, I'm, I'm basically just meh, 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 Right? And it's still sliding. I'm not even pushing. Learn it. If they are willing to learn, I train people for many years to throw pretzels. So what is the what is the throw? Is it throw just like pretzels? Is it just like a whoosh, like that or some shit? You know what I mean? Like you, you you put it up and then like twist it. I don't know the technique at all. You know. I'd have to see it. I'd honestly have to see it, and I'd have to practice it. I don't know if it's happening tonight. I'm sorry, guys. I like I don't know what the what to do is. It's like you, you would twist it or something. Is that was that it? Did I just did I just you fucking to, do it? To, you have to twist it around itself once. Right. So you have to like. Did I just do that one time? Pick up both thing and swing left over right stuck. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know you're, you're probably saying exactly the right thing. Unfortunately, it's just not how my brain works. I can't. I need to see it. I can't read. Does that make sense? Like I, I have to see it, and I'll be like, oh, maybe I look up a YouTube video real quick. Pick up both ends, swing left over right, and use the table to slow the spin. Pick up both ends, swing left over right. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I mean, how's it going? I have to see it. Yeah, he's beginning to believe. Oh my god! <laughs> like Peter Pan. All right, I'll try another one, just a normal one like this. So I'm gonna cross it in here, and cross it once, and bring it in, and that looks like a pretzel to me, guys. I'll be honest. It looking like a pretzel. Looking like a pretzel. It looking like a pretzel. I need twist left over right when you flip and fold down the so you go like that and then drop it so you go up and twist and then just boop. Is that what we do? Cheese. I believe in you, Raj. I do. I do. I believe too, my friend. I believe too. Hermie has to try this though. I guarantee you that she Raj can get it. I do need to like see it though, right? Yeah, no, I totally get that. Twist left over right when you flip and fold the twist to... So is it like over and then like on top of itself like that? Your arms don't need to cross just the dough as you swing it. So you cross the dough and then do I flip like that? Do, 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 yeah, I'll do. definitely try some, don't worry. Well, you're gonna have to, because I'm I only, I'm, I think four and four is the right play here. Okay. A Raj four and a Hermie four. All right. And a seven four? <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to put that. You don't cross your arms. Right. I'm gonna lean up right here, just because I need the red hot. Okie dokie. Hermie is working on the sauces, by the way, low yep, key. I'm working on the there are three sauces today, everybody. Three sauces. Well, the mustard's just in a jar. <laughs> well, the mustard is, is sauce in a jar. Yeah. We weren't we weren't going to create the mustard from scratch. 
And people we recommended that one, so we figured we might as well do that we one. We weren't going to grind the mustard seeds ourselves. Oh, this is starting to smooth out and look like a delicious cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. Did you just Joshua Weissman that shit? Cheese sauce. Does he do that? A lot, yes. I have never seen him do that. So unintentionally, yes. But I arrived at it independently. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. It, it feels like I'm not putting any pressure right now, right? It's rolling, right? But as soon as I put pressure, it slides. Like, and, and I had to put pressure in order to stretch it because it won't stretch if I don't. Hmm. Semaphore, that's like half of golf. Wait, what? Is that a golf term? Semaphore. Semi-four. Oh, oh. semi-four. Oh, like the ball's coming your way, but not quite. Joke. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. What is the most, uh, that's that's my most, uh, the most common thing that I yell when playing golf. Four! <laughs> Not timber? Nope. Like, I gotta stretch it. I feel like I... Hmm. I need a tasting spoon when Can you I? get a chance. I need a tasting spoon. Don't, don't like the Asian guys do this when they make their pastas and stuff? <laughs> 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 they like stretch it? I don't know. Not whore? No, I don't yell whore. No, I don't. <laughs> What kind of golf do you play? I had to explain the process of making pretzel for years to trainees, including teaching one hand twisting. One oh, wow. hand. One hand well, crosses we are together. we are absolute novices in the in the uh, in the presence of of mastery. So <laughs> can I have a go ahead, begin ruining, begin judging. <laughs> can I have I the uh, can I have a tasting spoon when you get a chance? Doesn't roll. Sure, as shit, don't fucking roll. <laughs> nice. Summer Shabbat. <laughs> I don't drive. I don't mm. pay the bills. I don't watch TV. I sure shit don't fucking, fucking roll. roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's really good. What your uh, mm -hmm. Welsh rare bit? Mm -hmm. Is it made from real Welsh people? Uh, mm -hmm. Sheepy goodness or something? I don't know, Raj. I feel like this could this could be could be bigger. I just can't. This is not working. It's not working. It's less roll, more you're trying to expand it. I know. I'm trying. I'll do this. I'm trying to expand it. I'm gonna expand. I'm gonna expand. I'm gonna expand. Go 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 go. Oh, that might actually work really good. Look at that. So you're pulling. I'm pulling rather than rolling at this point, and then just roll to like smooth it out, right? And then. You call that rolling recruit? <laughs> no, I don't. And I'm sure that everybody could probably agree that those are going to be some fairly thick fucking pretzels right there. Thick pretzels. They look good though. That works, I guess. I guess. They look like a pretzel. They look like a pretzel. I guarantee you, we dunk them in the cheese sauce. They're going to be delicious. Yep. All right. So you guys are saying I do this. <laughs> Nailed it! You, no, fold it down and it's perfect. No, 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 no. Like over top of itself, like a pretzel looks. Do you know how, how pretzels are shaped, <laughs> yes. my good sir? So, you, whoop, <laughs> whoop. Left over right. I feel like you don't have a fundamental understanding of how a pretzel is shaped. <laughs> I know, but it's like that, that, and that. You yeah. know. Yeah, so if you if you fold it's just like a folded like a noose and then you just fold it fold it down over itself. Yeah, like that. Eh? A bit it's a bit thinner one. All procedurally generated. AI pretzels? AI pretzels. Eh? Yeah, it's a little It'll, it'll it'll be uh, it, it'll be cracky and breaky. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. She's right. You had it. I did. Yeah. He had it. He just doesn't know. How, like you just didn't have that idea of what the pretzel was doing in your head. That's all. Yeah, that's a that's a gnarly looking pretzel. <laughs> I think our consistency is going to be a little less than desired. As long that that's because we're home cooks and not professional soft pretzel cooks. That's right. <laughs> So I'm thinking I'm gonna kind of stretch and do it like this. You taught a person that was missing an arm how to make pretzels? That's pretty impressive, I gotta say. 
I agree. The, the Def Leppard drummer of pretzel making. <laughs> <laughs> Said I'm a drummer and I lost my arm. Oh. <laughs> I will make the cream cheese frosting stuff once the pretzels are in the oven because I need that. I need that area because I need the the mixer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy. Like I can just do that. Off the top of me, head, pretty much. I mean, I could see the, the, the potential issue going forward on this, that there's going to be some cracks as I pull it rather than roll it. But you know what? It's still going to be delicious. It might not look pretty. It won't be the first time that we've had food that doesn't look the best, but it's still delicious. So I... And then... Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Is that it? I do it? Ish. Is that it? I did it on the last one. These are my pretzels and I'm sticking to it. All right, Hermie. Those are my, my four. Turn. Those are my four pretzels. Do you want to get out a baking yep. tray? Yep, yep, ish. You want to try a baking tray? Yep. All right, I'm taking off my mic just real quick because I'm taking off the sweatshirt. It's getting sun's, warm in here. Sun's out, gun's out. That should be enough for all eight, I think. Hermes turn. You up. Oh my god. There's just so much butter. No, I, I, I melted the butter. I cleaned so much today. I'll clean There's up. no way that this is not going to be a messy cook anyway. I'll clean up when we're done. Let's be real. This is going to be a messy cook no matter what we do. The reason I was asking if you wanted to get out a baking tray is so we could put your pre My pretzels on. on the tray. Okay. Yeah. So oh. I just have a little more room to, you know, wing my pretzels around. All right. Let me... Um, I have to move my mic. Yeah. Let me do... That butter's going to have to get out the fucking white. All right, uh, yes, I'll move my pretzels. Okay. How long do we put them in the thing for? Let's look at the recipe, which is underneath the dough balls, right? Yeah. Brum, 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 brum. How long do we put them in the in the baking soda? 30, 30 seconds. A side or just total? Total. This thing is royal ball. Royal ball? Do you want to move your pretzels? I, yeah, I, don't, want, that's, yeah. I don't want to I don't want to touch your pretzels. I won't touch your pretzels. You touch your own pretzels. I'll touch my own pretzels. You touch your own pretzels. 30 seconds? That's what it says, Jim. 30 seconds. One. Are my time turn to fuck up some dough? Yep, two. Some dough! I see what you're saying already, Raj. How it, it don't stick. So it's a little more right, we need to butter wash them. I remember that. That's part of the secret to the well, brown. Well, good thing we have a, a thing of completely melted butter over here. That's true. Hey, Raj. This Hold side, on. this side is uh, more textured. Well, thanks for that. After I'm done. I mean, I just, it's not that much more textured, but it is a little bit. Just because we cut on this side a lot more. Okay. Is it working for you? The cutting board is sided. I mean, ish. It's not. So what is the process that's actually happening here? Are we gelatinizing the gluten or something? It's something like that. I don't I don't want to speak on I don't know like exactly, so I don't want to like speak on exactly what's happening, but I know it's like it's it's doing something. It's like I think it's denaturing the gluten in some way on the outside layer. Okay. Okay. That was about 30 seconds, I think. The pretzels are pretzeling. These pretzels are making me thirsty. They smell different. Do they smell pretzely? No. One and oh, no. two. Did you just pull it apart? No. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Sorry, I can't pull that side too much more. I know. Why do I have clues? Why do I have blues clues in my head? Multiple gifts up. Who did that? Who did what? Oh my god. El Brandino! El Brandino! Dropping in some subs. Let's go, buddy. Thank you. Okay, um, so just forget that this happened over here. We're not gonna worry about that part. Still a little. Don't worry about it. Did you say left over right or right over left? Does it matter? I guess as long as you look the same way every time, right? I guess, right? Woo! I only did it one time. We have to get, get it like twice. Did you get it? Like not, not your hands, but the dough, he said. Ah! <laughs> I made a cancer ribbon. Okay. <laughs> you did. I did. So it goes like that. <laughs> I'm taking my dough for a ride. I'm, this is going to be a lasso. <laughs> Kitchen chance cues for the win. <laughs> no. Oh. I, I mean, is this. Are you not entertained? We know this is going to go well. <laughs> oh, that is. That's a sad. Sad press. That is so uneven. It's gonna be like two in the morning, and I'm gonna be like, I'm still working with my dough and trying to make it even. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm trying to ease, ease it thinner, ease it thinner, but not. Don't pull in it too hard, or it breaks off. Apparently. Don't flip the dough up when I twist. But I could just lay it down and just do that, right? You can, yes. <laughs> that is it. Swing is harder. Swing low. <laughs> <laughs> Jump rope. See, I keep twist. I don't twist <laughs> like hard. Enough. How's it going, huh? It's going great. You're Rush. getting it. Yeah. Are you getting the look? You getting the toss? No, but I yeah, made, it's a pretzel. I made it into something. This one only broke twice. This is a sad, dehydrated-looking son of a bitch. Let me get. I need the brush and uh, just give me a second. Excuse me. No, excuse you. Right. It's something. It is, it's, it's dough that is something. <laughs> All right, what I'm gonna be doing over here is I'm going to be just butter washing these. Dead bush broth, shut up. Because <laughs> apparently if you use the lye, it gets some browner, but if you don't have the lye, then you should butter wash them. Um, I think you should butter wash them because it makes them taste better. Well, there's also that. Because butter is delicious. I agree. And then we're going to be doing one because we unlocked all the stuff, chat. Whee! Whee! One of these is going to be the cinnamon sugar. Do we have, um, you know what? I bought cinnamon. I know you did. Because we didn't need it. But I think we have like a container back here that you guys mix together for. I want to add brown sugar to it. Here, so, well, you can, I mean, cinnamon sugar here and then you can just add brown sugar to it. We don't do it now. That's a, that's a post Oh, thing. that's true, yeah. Yeah, I was just making sure we had it. All right, so for these is what I'm going to be doing is, hold on a sec, as you continue with your pretzel making. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm rolling. You're rolling? I sure shit don't fucking roll. All right, on three of I these guys, to. I'm going to basically do this. I'm just going to take some kosher salt, high grains, if that makes sense there, and then I'm just going to hit it with, on three of the pretzels, <laughs> to sprinkle some kosher salt. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> Avada Kedavra? It's a, li it's a limp pretzel wand. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, it'll, it'll be something, right? So you're telling me Annie Ann's doesn't, like, doesn't... I bet you this is going to taste... first? I bet you this tastes better than Annie Ann's. I'll be honest. Oh, no, 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 no. I bet it does, too. I'm just saying that, like, if the, um, if the butter and the... If the butter and the, you know, lye stuff don't get along. <laughs> Expelliarmus, what? You can't take my pretzel away. 
How will I ever badly flip it around and make it look like something? They butter brush theirs after baking. I'm probably gonna do that too. I'll be honest. Oh with yeah, 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 yeah. I'm. I, I don't think I'm gonna go wrong with the butter. Oh, it's getting butter brushed. Correct, but you don't want to butter. I've dipped ones in the lye and the fat and the butter do not get along. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you okay. mean like you mean after you, like we can do it after we bake it though, because then the reaction's already happened. Do oh yeah, the I guess that what if it's before you bake it. Like that actually will break down the butter. That's true. That's why you don't want to get it near your cast iron pan. Yeah. That so, makes sense. That makes sense. That's the one I noticed. It's, they said if you do the baking soda, then do the butter. If you do the lye, don't do the butter. But then, but after we bake it, we do after the we butter. bake it, it's oh, look, after you bake it, it's no holds barred. It's pretzels at that <laughs> point. Make it into a sandwich. You, it's no holds barred. You dip it in. You dip it in peanut butter if you want to. Peanut butter. Didn't somebody say they had peanut butter pretzels or yeah, something? Yeah, they're hot. Ow, Those ow, are hard, though. Fucker, that is so fucking hot. What is? That whisk. Is it really? Yes. Oh, I hope my cheese sauce isn't hard. That's why I was trying to give it a stir, so it's not. Thank you. I appreciate that. But it is, like, very, I very warm. I guess because the, the oven's on pretty warm. Okay, I'm focusing. We're, we're pretzeling. I'm focusing. Ow. <laughs> I didn't burn myself. But that was a lot hotter than I was expecting it to be. Wait, I almost had it, but then it like untwisted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's lamp. Mm. Now that I'm watching it from outside perspective, I think I get what's up. Okay, you tell need, me, tell me what to do. You do the turn, but it's about when you slam it back down to the thing. It's like you got to get it at the right spot to put it down. Like you don't hold it up and then drop it. You go. It's up and then drop at the same time, but you need it in the right space. Here, come here. <laughs> come here, show me. I think, I think. All right, let's come see. Here and see what, tell me what you're thinking. I'm thinking it's just like, <laughs> kind of, I don't know. <laughs> but like hitting it at the right moment. I don't know, I don't know the right moment, but I think it needs to come back down at the right moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is fun. It looks like a thing. It is fun. That looks like a thing. I went to the Tom Sturgis factory when I was a little kid. I was like a, I think my mom didn't know what else to do with us that day. So she's like, let's go to the pretzel factory. And because we live in central Pennsylvania, there are snack food factories out the wazoo. All right. Yep, we got progress of, from here to here. Look at this. I progress like it. I like it. Here. You use the table as the slow to spin. I'll be honest. You could talk about it all day. I need to see somebody do it. And then I'll be like, okay, okay. Kind of makes sense. My pretzels are over there just proofing more. I guess it's not a bad thing. Are they making you thirsty? I know I'm very slow at this. It's fine. I just, is it gonna fuck up? How, it's fine though, right? It should like, be fine. I mean, if they, if they do, if they rise a little bit more, I mean, they'll just be poofier. Mother's Day is in 16 days. Yes, I know. It's true. Diablo 4 weekend. Server slam. Server slam. To go down fairly quick after the spin. That's what I'm thinking, but again, I, I just don't know. I know it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me like intuitively. Central PA people, I learned here in Central. You're from Central PA. That I, is, see, you know, as soon as you said you were, as, as, as soon as you said you you like knew how to throw pretzels, I'm like that got to be a Pennsylvania thing. Oh, for sure. We have we have all the best snack food. Yeah, we're near Harrisburg. Yeah, we're near Harrisburg. And I grew up in Hanover, in York, and uh, so, but Tom Sturgis is in Lidditz, and that's where um, we went to that like preschool field trip that my mom took me on because she didn't know what else to do with me probably that day. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to Callie's Pretzel Factory now? Well, you know what? We we warned you about the snacks. We knew we did. you knew it was coming. We did. You were filled with the pretzels, you know. I know all my all my German ancestors are probably turning over in their grave. No, <laughs> you learned at Smitty's pre soft pretzels years ago. Damn. Oh yeah, okay. That's in that's uh, York. Yep. Yep. Those are the big soft like sweet ones. The big soft sweet ones. Yep, huh? they're the ones that they have like all the football games and stuff. Yeah, I like know. in the yeah. I'm aware of what Schmitty's. they are. The big soft sweet one. You've never had a soft pretzel? Mecca. 
That's surprising, actually, Mecca. Because your sister's literally talking about how much I she makes them. I say it was, but, you know, this just strikes me as such like a... Now that to, a Dutch thing to me. To be fair, myself included with this, if you're down and you're looking for a snack and you got a bunch of vendors out, and somebody's like, you want this Philly cheesesteak or this soft pretzel? I'm kind of like, I'm kind of a Philly cheesesteak kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Or like, oh, they got crab cakes. Ooh, I'm like at the crab cake. You know what I mean? Other, over the pretzel. If, if, if they use the right flour, I would take the soft pretzel every time. I know you would. I, know I you would. love them. I'm so excited to eat these. Like, I know I should probably share it with the kids, but I don't want to. Like, are my pretzels okay? Or should I, like, put them in or something? Are making you thirsty? I don't know. Probably fine. Why wouldn't they be fine? I don't. I, I don't know. No. <laughs> They're probably. Wait! Okay. Wait! 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 I just did it. Oh no! And I undid it. You did it? Yes. Ha! 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 It's ugly. I just have to fix it up now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's sort of it, right? That's sort of it. All right. Princess don't look like food to you anymore. That just looks like work. <laughs> I get that. I get that so much. I think the pretzel uh, factory is closed. The candy kitchen is still open though. They have good chocolate. Well, you know your you know where to go then. It's fine as long as she doesn't take an hour to make hers. <laughs> Times are ticking, baby. <laughs> this is my last one. I know. I'm doing, doing all right. I think you're doing right. fine. I did the flip thing last time, so. So I guess you, if you would make these for a living, you'd go through a, a little bit of hand cramp days and then like, just like get super hand muscles, right? From all the rolling and stuff. The dough kneading. The dough kneading. I mean, to be fair, this is our first soft pretzel, and it's also yeah. my third dough ever I've made. Like, for real. In my life. Well, it's very nice. It's nice and pillowy. You have good kitchen in instincts, though. Some Sometimes. people do not. Some people do not. I have met oh people God, that, that have so... tried, to, tried to frost cakes with plain peanut butter. Like, some people do not have good kitchen instincts. Uh, yeah, no, I know, I know. Also, I, was, I will say this, I'm, everything might not look pretty, but I definitely have a, uh, I feel like I have a decent flavor. Like, that doesn't seem like it would go in there. Scenario. Yeah, you have a good palate. I know, I'm, I'm gun-shy to stretch it too much now. Why, because you tore the first I, one? Yes, because I broke my first one. Well, the good thing about dough is if you break it, it's easy to put it back together. Kind of, but then it doesn't, like, have the have the strength of... That's the first time pretzel baker you guys are doing. Both. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate that. And we're going to be hitting it with, uh, let's see, we've got the, uh, the beer mustard. We have a cheese sauce. And we're going to be doing, like, the classic Annie Ann's cinnamon... Br uh, it's cinnamon sugar, and then I'm going to make cinnamon, a... Cinnamon and sugar, and then a cream cheese. I'm going to make a cream cheese dipping thing real quick so we have the three sauces yeah and it's going to be delicious Let's see if i can do this again ready you got it whoop just gotta adjust them a little bit here it's got a bit of a twisty thing yeah you twist them up all right you know what's funny hooray it's pretzel making. I brought the water out. Uh huh. Um, but we learned that for when we did our crab rangoons. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Thirty right. seconds. Thirty seconds ish, I guess. I'm moving cams, guys. Come okay. along. Come with we're boiling. me, and we'll be. We don't have a thirty second timer, do we? Where the no, rest of our cooking is gonna happen. On the stove, in the oven. There we 
go. Yeah, because these have like a 15 minute bake time, right? I don't know, I didn't see that part. I think so. Is it 15 minutes? I think that's what it said. Oh, I'm looking at my... Uh... I'll look at it real quick. Let's turn this off. All right, Raj. I'm going in for my next pretzel. I'm trying to... Yeah, yeah I'm, out, I'm out of your way. It's all you. I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to go with the timer. Oh, it says beaten egg yolk. I fucked up. Whatever. For what? It's an egg yolk, not butter. Fuck it. I did butter. 12 to 14 minutes. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Okay. Transfer to a cooling rack with at least five minutes before serving. Okay. So yeah, it was supposed to be a, a egg yolk, a beaten egg yolk. Oh well. Been lurking and painting your new. Hey, no worries, man. Office improvements are always nice. Sweet. So I did um, left to right, by the way. Um, the one on the very left is the unsalted for okay. the cinnamon and sugar. Okay. Egg yolk. Right, no, I, I agree. I think what it comes down to is it's just about um, something on there to help the browning process. The rope of dough before the twist should be rolled out to about three quarters of the length of the arms. I see, okay. Should I try the egg yolk so we can have the comparison? I think that's an unfair comparison at this point. No, no, no. I don't mean, I don't mean like mine versus yours. No, I think it's fine. Just hit it with the butter. I don't want to hit it with the butter. I'm going to do the butter after. Then don't hit it with the butter. Okay. I'll just put, I'll just put some salt on it then. We'll see what happens. Your left one is not salted? My left one is not salted, right? <laughs> Your left what? My left nut is unsalted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna scooch these boys. Yeah, we got a little crowd. I, th I think you got a winner here. This is the winner. That's the winner? That's like the best looking pretzel, it's yeah. Best looking pretzel? Harmony wins on the best looking pretzel. <laughs> Still decorating, nice. All right, you wanna put them in? Oh, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Let's cook it. Let's bake. Let's cook them. Let's bake them. Do you have the other one of these? Um, yes. Here. It's a little moist. Yeah. All right, on, in we go, guys. Let's set it for thirteen. Right down the middle. And then I'll get the cream cheese. This is off. Yep. Yep. Thirteen minutes. All right. Thirteen minutes. Hurry on cream cheese. Hurry on cream cheese dipping sauce for the cinnamon sugar pretzels. Did you use this? Yep. There you go. With the yeast. Probably don't want to save that. Oh no. I'm not trying to save it. I was just seeing where it went. Into the trash can, y'all. Yeah. Butter is fine for this method. Egg would also work, but as stated for anyone planning to try this with lye. Right, right, right. If we did the lye version. So those are okay since we're using, since we're just using the baking soda. Correct. Okay. Well, we'll see what the difference is between the butter and the not butter. Might be slightly less brown is my guess. Could be right. All right. So have we have we sorted out what actually is going on with the with the uh, chemistry going on with the baking soda bit? Like, what are we actually doing? 
I know it's a changing on the outside. But yeah, I'm, I'm just guessing it's some sort of denaturing of the protein. Okay. Of the gluten that was formed. Hmm. That's my that's my suspicion. But I don't like like we mentioned before. Like I don't. Not a hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent sure of the chemistry there. <laughs> Right, increasing the pH of the surface, true, but there's like, there's a, there's a certain, like, that's like what happens on the sur. that's like, obviously like what happens physically, but then what there's- What doing? She's cleaning up a little bit of the flour that we had there, so Yo, she... she can get ready for the next phase of Yeah, I, I need to wash out this bowl. Which is the cream cheese one, I'll get rid of, you don't need flour for this, do you? No. But our pretzels are in the oven now. We just have one more sauce to make. Yep. It'll be pretty simple. It is a pretty simple I will sauce. Need, I will need the mixer, though. Mixer! She passed away 30 years ago. <laughs> what are you doing this? Are you doing this here? Yeah. Okay, then I'll move the camera. Okay, that would be awesome. Because the only thing happening on the oven side right now is baking. I guess you're a confectioner sugar. I guess on a deeper level, like increasing the pH, sure, but like why does that make it brown better? Yeah, more actual, yeah, like. Exactly, like what is actually the going curiosity on? Curiosity of the things. Uh, things are moist. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why we have towels. Camera movement. Number 17,462. Here we go. On to. Okay. What you need, dude? Um, my recipe oh. and, and the cream cheese. Okay, I can do these things. Thank you. Softened cream cheese for you, Mom. Okay. Um, this is six servings. I think we're gonna don't need that. Half that. <laughs> I think we're gonna half this. This is what eight ounces again. So we're gonna go two. I think that called for four. It does. That's why I'm having it. So you're doing two. two. Yeah. Oh right, right. We don't we don't need six. Half serving. of eight is four. Half of four is two. Oh my god! <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed indeed. So I started um, I I started following some uh, some professional people that make icing on TikTok, and it was they were talking interestingly about making cream cheese frosting because of the way it's stabilized um r and r because of the way it's stabilized um you treat it more as a let's use this knife you treat it more as a liquid like i'm not I'm, I'm not changing anything that i'm doing here as a result but i thought it was interesting that you treat cream cheese as more of a liquid than like a solid or like a semi-solid i guess i thought that was interesting just wash my hands it's fine i just washed them i hate storing cream cheese though you know <laughs> like clark clark griswold with a ladder <laughs> what do i do with this fucking cream cheese on the night i don't know oh my god hermy what what oh my candle's going your candle is completely we, we melted. <laughs> Warm oven, huh? Does this smell delicious and apple-y? Yeah, that's the wrong... No, they're not too wrong. Yeah, see? Me and my gourmand sense, all the food... All the food smells go together. I'm just... This is not exact. And baking sugar is considered the E-off of wet ingredients. E the, e the what? E O F one of one of oh. I mean, it's pretty hygroscopic. It attracts it attracts water pretty well. Okay, cream cheese and butter hand mixer. Yes, yes, yes. This says whisk it to remove lumps, but uh, pretty much just I. This is an eyeball recipe for me. I think you're fine. Yes. Because I'm gonna make it a little thinner than you would like a cream cheese frosting. You know what I'm gonna do? 
What's that? I'm gonna wait until I have the beaters on, and then I'm gonna scrape the knife on there. Whoa! So I can get all the cream cheese off. That's what I'm gonna do. Look at the big brains on Brad. I've made some frostings in my life. I know you have. Once or twice. That's why. That's, that's why you're my saucy queen. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's right. It's not because I'm actually fucking saucy as shit. You Ugh. could be the saucy queen. Oh. You could be my saucy queen. I seeing eyeball recipes. Mmm. <laughs> Barbacoa. Sugar's a wet ingredient, meaning that it like it adds moisture to it rather than dryness. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. The th th sugar is a pure carbohydrate, and when you think of the word carbohydrate, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, water that gets stuck to sugar. So, that's a fun fact. Here we go. My, uh, I think I've had this since we moved in together, Raj. Oh, yeah. We won't yeah. say. I don't know if we'll say how many years ago that was, but it was a lot of them. The cord's a little twisty. It's fine. Solved. Now let's, I'll get a splash of vanilla in there first. A splash. Vanilla. A splash. Just a splash. A splash. So, we, so we have our, uh, this is like a, a Worcestershire sauce beer mustard, or beer cheese. Yep. And then uh, this is going to be very sweet. And then yep. just regular the mustard. Okay. Thanks for the unlocks, by the way, Chad. That is. Um, yes, we really appreciate that because that makes this even better. By the way, um, kind of low-key, thank you guys so much for the support this week. This is a full sub-goal week. You guys Yay! crushed it. Crushed it this week. We are very thankful. No measure. Why do I keep my vanilla extract in the box? I don't know. Uh, great question. I don't know. It's a great question. Do you just like the box? Not really. Not like, giant brand. Store brand. Some. Please don't poof everywhere. Please don't poof everywhere. Please don't poof everywhere. <laughs> Please don't poop everywhere. Rush, can you get me um, the milk, please, and thank you. Not heavy cream? No, the milk. Okay. I don't like using heavy cream for this. Okay. I thought it was a heavy cream called. It is. I don't like using it, though. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit more sugar in there for it. But we don't want it to... We don't want it to just taste like sugar. Ah, I'm making such a mess. It's a mess. That's okay. You know why? This is the home cooking stream. Hey. You know what's funny? What? I think yours are getting more brown than mine, but it's hard to tell. We'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you want ants? This is how we get ants. <laughs> You know what we haven't had enough of yet? Ants. Ants. I will say I think yours are getting a little toasty on the outside. I'm gonna let it go for the time though. Two minutes. Yep. See, this is not quite dipping sauce consistency, so we're gonna have a little milk here. Is it soft pretzels? Ants. <laughs> Stop wishing for ants, please, son. Who's manifesting ants around here? A <laughs> little better. You want right over your head here? I'm 
prepping the cinnamon sugar plate. Okay. Plate. Yeah, we have to. It's a thing. We don't know if the oven has hot spots. No. Uh, I suspect that it does. I suspect that it does too. But I don't. I don't know. So we're just make this thin enough so it makes a dipping sauce. And I did not taste it yet, so hopefully it's not sugar flavored. It shouldn't be though. Well, I didn't use that much. It's definitely sugar flavored. No, it's not sugar flavored. It's cream cheese flavored. Vanilla flavored. Yeah. But it's sugary. See, that's a much better texture for dipping things into. I bet Mini Rush would taste it if I asked him. Okay. That's good. Yes. W. It's a win. Whoop. It is a W. Yeah, we are we are fairly new to electric stove. I mean, there's only so much control you have over an electric stove, right? Twenty eight seconds. Here we go. Twenty eight seconds. I'll get Mini Raj on beater cleanup. I'll be on beer cleanup. Ah! Ah! Uh oh, I'm gonna put the things. That's why you put it. That's why you always put them back, so you know we're there. We both did it, for the record. I did. I did. All right. Beep. Pretzels. Ooh. Interesting. Look at those. Pretzels. Huh. Look Are at out. those. I'm going to go take one of these uh, beaters into the boy. Something happened here. Something went weird. I don't know what. Yeah, it did. I wonder if maybe that didn't get submerged. I think they look pretty good. Hey, Dex. Mini Raj. I have a beater for you. I'm not going to chase him up the stairs. All right, here's how we're going to play this. Hey. All right. <laughs> Still streaming. Cinnamon and sugar. Looks like a dry spot. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. First of all, hot. Ow. <laughs> Very hot. But yes, they, they feel exactly right. Oh, oh this my God. smells so good. All right. So I'm hitting it with uh, butter wash on my cinnamon and sugary boy, which is uh, what this mixture is up in here. And I'm just going to give it the old glove treatment here. I'm just going to give it like that. Flip her on over. Just get a little bit of that going. A little bit of that. We have our cinnamon. We're gonna definitely have to let these cool down for a bit. Oh. Do you want me to do yours? Yes. Okay. I would appreciate if you did mine. Okay. Making sure my mic's not stuck to my neck. Wow, they feel super soft. All right, that's the cinnamon sugar number one. Uh, can you grab me the cinnamon sugar? I think we need a little bit more on the plate. The, just the jar is fine. Oh. I was looking for the, the cinnamon you bought and I don't see it, so. <laughs> oh my God, they feel so light and fluffy. You you made a great dough. I'm telling you. Third dough ever. Those uh those those kneading arms, boy. Uh, you know, I think there's probably other methods and improvements, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not like perfect at it on your third time. Mm -hmm. I think it took about, let's say, like the rib cook. It probably took me about six times before I was like, yes, okay, now I see all the things. Mm -hmm. And so, oh yeah, there's a lot. Of, and I think with with bread making, there's even more. 
That was so uh, fast. I don't know about that. You've only made one kind, now two kinds of bread. Uh, no, 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 no. I agree with you on that, but I, I, I think you failed to know how much, <laughs> how how intently the barbecuers get. Oh, okay. well. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I fair mean. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. There's our two cinnamon sugar pretzels. All right. And uh, yeah, I think we just need to wait for it to cool down and we're good. Oh, I don't want to wait for it to cool down. I want to eat it now. <laughs> They're really hot. I'm so excited about these because I never get to have soft pretzels. Because nobody bothers making organic soft pretzels because they just don't. Yeah, because they're like, that's not for the mass. If you care if you care about your health, why the hell are you eating soft pretzels to begin with, bitch? All right, now, what we got to do. That's what I think they think. We got to do this. What do we got to do? We have to go boom, 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 boom. Low F stop for that epic B-roll. Do I win the best looking pretzel? I think you do, actually. I think Hermes gets the best looking pretzel right there. This one right here, I think, is the number one. We're number oh. one. We're number one. Focus in on the salty, buttery, delicious. Come on, focus, you stupid thing. Stop focusing other word places. Well, it really it wants some cheese sauce. It really wants some cheese sauce. Maybe this is on. That's probably why. Let's try this now. There it is. Is the towel adding? Kind of. Looks good though. Pretzel. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I don't see how it could be bad. It smells like Annie Ann's in here. It does. Did you butter them all? No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to butter you mine. You you may butter. I will butter. Um, I need more butter. Oh, I forgot I put the butter thing away. I'm sorry. I'm not thinking. Butter, butter. You may butter, butter. You may butter when ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. Thanks. Yeah, I think you win for best looking pretzel though. W. This one right here. What do you think, chat? Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Well, hurry up because I need to butter it. Yeah, put them down. Best looking pretzel. Yeah, I think, I think Harmony wins this one. Those look really good. They are smelling pretty nice. They do smell really good. This right. is not the best way to do this. Yeah, what do you know about a Capone? Not much. There we go. <laughs> How do you butter your pretzels? Like this? Good luck trying to get your butter as smooth and gelatin like this. Two, four. Two, four, five. Six, eight. Buddha, we appreciate. Raj, Raj. Thank you, thank you. I think we turn this oven off. Yeah, probably a good idea, actually. They look done to me. I'm not putting them back in the oven. Where'd that mustard get off to? In ah. my belly. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> Triple dipping sauces! Is this your tasting spoon? Yeah, I have a couple around. Just forking the butter now? Yeah. It's not melted. I didn't, want, I didn't feel like dealing with that whole deal. So I'm like, these are hot. The butter's the butter's not. I'm just going to put them on top and kind of let it melt. Right? Now that it's more melty, maybe I'll get the brush back out. What are you pushing? Um, the it butter good. and the pretzels. It good. It good. <laughs> it real good. <laughs> what did you say to me the other day when I was singing that? You're like, I don't need that. I'm like, um, I do. 
If you bake pretzels on a stone, then just make sure you salt your stone before. Uh, what if it's a well-seasoned stone? Because our stone's pretty well-seasoned. We could try that next time if we make pretzels again. I have a feeling this may be one that gets requested. I'm already requesting it. It's so buttery delicious. That is probably seized. It's probably too hot. It looks like it. It's fine. My poor cheese sauce. The problem with the cheese sauce is it's it's the timing of when do you cook it. I know. I probably should have made that while I was making the cream cheese and made the cream cheese earlier because this can that can just that sit. can just sit around. Yeah. So next time we'll have better timing. It's okay. It will be delicious. You still want to put some salt on this then? All right, fair enough. Did you dot butter mine? Did you want me to butter yes, yours? Yes, please. Well, I didn't know that you wanted. You just like completely. I, I, I did the whole thing. Oh gosh, I thought you already buttered yours. No, butter in before and after. Okay, Let's get going. Okay, all right. Butter me up, baby. I'll butter you up. <laughs> I'll leave your pretzels all day. <laughs> yeah, I'll butter your pretzels, you bet. I just thought you already did. No, no, no. There's a pre, uh, okay. pre one. You, you pre buttered. I pre buttered. You I'm post buttering, you didn't too. post butter yet. Okay. I didn't think about using. Honestly, I don't I don't know if all these would fit on the stone. Uh, eight. This is the recipe is pretty much straight up for like this eight. You could probably double you. it easily to do twelve. I'm sure you could. That would be sixteen though. <coughs> What's the? I mean, what are you gaining from doing the, the the baking stone though? Um, the baking stone is more of like for the crispy crust. Like you preheat the stone and it's like doing it in a wood fired oven. But um, honestly, the bottom of these are like pretty browned, so I don't know if the stone would. That would be plus or minus, you know? Mm -hmm. These smell amazing. They just smell pretty damn good. Like I said, did was Skinner Bees like filled in with what we were doing today? Yep. Okay, so she's gonna come home later and probably be like. No, Yo. she's probably like, I'm full, I'll whatever. I don't know if there were soft pretzels at home, I'd save room. Yeah, I know you would. <laughs> well, you you also That's have me. a. Um... All right, I'm hitting you with some salt. Yeah. A little bit, because I did pre-salt too. I know. I'm just hitting it high level. Okay, just a little. High salt. level salt. Just a little salt bay. Oh, high level. There you go. Just a sprinkle. Since it's unsalted butter. All right, I think we're buttered. How hot are those? Still, are they still super hot, you think? I don't know. Poke. I think we can eat them. Alrighty. Let's prepare. Is this a clean plate? I think so. It looks like one. Alright. Chat! It is time! Should I don't know where to put it. <laughs> I almost, I had that shirt on yesterday. Did you really? I did. Our unmetal shirts. Our unmetal shirts. It is a weird like grayish green. It's army green, dude. I guess. Army green, dude. Army green, dude. All right, I'll get the boy. He wants in. Okay. I know he wants in. Yo, buddy. I'm so hyped. Buddy, you want a pretzel? Should Come on. Get the little bread knife. I can go with a little bread knife to cut these. Hmm? A little bread knife to cut these. What you talking about? I'm going in. You're just going in? I'm just going in. I'm going to grab, going I'm grab my pretzel here. All right? And then we got ourselves. I'm going to eat the best looking pretzel. Okay, they're still a little hot. See, here's the bottom. The bottom's got already pretty, like, done. So I'm thinking that, like, if we use the stone, they might even get more done, so. One sauce. One sauce. Ah, ah, ah. Two sauce. Ah, ah, ah. Three sauce. Thanks for that. Uh, I don't put that on my plate yet, please. So that's uh, that's for the mine. cinnamon sugar. This is the 
So for the savory pretzel. All right. Pulling Mustard first. Mustard first. Okay, it's still hot, but I want to eat it. All right. Cheers. Yum, cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that mustard is so good. That's a Sierra Nevada stout mustard. It is so good. Oh my god. I'm just going to eat all these right now. Cheese sauce? Cheese sauce. Also featuring, cheers, some of the mustard. I like that. It's good. It is very good. Yum. <laughs> good thing you have an apron on. <laughs> Gravity still works. I had to check. <laughs> Somebody has to, Raj. Did Mini Raj hear you? I don't know. I feel like it would have been all about this. Nailed it. All right. So good. We just probably grab one of the these. The inside is, yeah, we can share. The inside is like super fluffy. Mm. Cinnamon. This this smells like Annie Ann's. Mm -hmm. This right here is just straight Annie Ann's. Can I grab a bit? Grab a bit. Please and thanks. Inside's hot. So hot. All right. Oh, I can barely hold on to this. With. Oh my God, that actually saved. I cannot believe that didn't fall out. I just dropped this on the floor <laughs> and, and like it just rolled and like did not actually touch the floor. Just on the bottom. I know. All right. Cinnamon sugar cream cheese. So <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, these are so good. Gosh, these are so good. You know what? I think I would have put a touch of salt on the cinnamon sugar one. What do you think? Mm, yeah, it's good. Just a touch. I feel like... It tastes like a cinnamon roll, which is great, but it does, it needs... It needs that little bit of contrast, that little bit of salt, I think. It's exactly like a cinnamon roll is what it does. Mm -hmm. as, you might, as, as you may expect, I prefer the uh, more savory. I do expect. I'll be honest, this could use more salt. It could be more salt. What, the, the dough or the pretzel? The, the, on the pretzel. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised because I'm so like wary of over-salting because once you over-salt, you can't go back, you know? Mm -hmm. Could use a little bit more salt. Mm -hmm. But... I think for a first attempt, guys. Mm. So good. Mm. So every Friday is going to be pretzel stream? <laughs> no. I know. As much as as much as much this is like They're a... so good, though. Uh, uh, all right. First of all, let me just say this. I know why this is an important one for you. She cannot eat these. I never get soft pretzels. Right. They're so good. My favorite. They are very good. We did a good job. Mm -hmm. like shaping, sure. Maybe a little bit more oh, meaty. Yeah. But I mean. Alright, let's just let's just let's just do a little let's do the test here. Here we go. Watch this guy. So what are we testing? Hide everybody's eyes. Turn around. I'm turning around. Hide my eyes. Do the pull. You get the pull, right? There's your bite right there. Look at that. Look at that. Fluffy. Soft on the outside, but not too soft. So it's exactly like a, a soft pretzel would be. And it tastes exactly mm. like what you think it tastes like. <laughs> a soft pretzel. Mm. I'm going to wipe off the... Cinnamon sugar. We'll but leave, now... We can leave some of that for Mini Raj if he wants that. What, that one? Yeah, I'm sure he will. Mm -hmm. He likes sugar. This is good. I'm getting more cheese sauce. 
Going back in over here with some more cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Mustard's amazing too. Holy crap. Oh, I really like that mustard. I'm going to go back and buy like five jars of it, I think. Mustard doesn't go bad. Mm -mm. That makes me think of, I saw a Celebrity Jeopardy, like an old Celebrity Jeopardy clip the other day. When Will Ferrell is Alex Trebek, this condiment is made from mustard seeds. The answer, of course, is onions. <laughs> That's exactly, that was the sketch. <laughs> We're going for mustard. Mustard is made from mustard <laughs> seeds. <laughs> he just did, he did such a good job of playing like a slightly annoyed Alex Trebek. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just write a number. Any number. <laughs> Burt Reynolds, you have the board. It's right, not turn, my name. Turn Ferguson. Or right, Turn Ferguson, it's a funny name. Here's your shot. Here you go. We did great for beginners as a person with 13 plus years in pretzel making. Thank you. Thank you for your um, your um, respectful expertise. And if you enjoyed the cooking stream, we pretty much do this every Friday. Mm -hmm. We have done. Let's see if I can remember going backwards. Mm. Soft pretzels, lobster mac and cheese, mm -hmm. nasi malak. Mm -hmm. um, the national dish of Malaysia. Shrimp lao mein with something. We did a bonus on that one. I, I know. I can't remember what it was either. Teriyaki beef. We have done uh, um, chicken tikka masala. Mm-hmm. Very good. We have done. We did that weird bread dish. Upper crust chicken, a casserole from my childhood. Upper crust chicken. Um. Spicy Thai, spicy Thai Stir chicken, fry stuff. beef and shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, that one's a, that's a class. I actually cooked that this week. I cooked that this week. And it was delicious. I did a chicken variety of that one. Korean fried chicken. Korean fried chicken. A Asian slaw. Mm, that was that Korean fried chicken was really good too. Man, we've done so many oh, recipes. And we did. We, did we do? We did a tempura night, didn't we? The lao mein. Oh yeah, right. The lao mein had the tea stuff, right? Oh yeah, no. Was that lo mein? No, that was during the nasi lemak because we couldn't. All right. That didn't take enough steps, so we had to add tea to it. I took a shower and tea. Nasi lemak was the, the the absolute longest. That was the, that's the threshold of a cooking stream. Was the nasi lemak? Yeah, we were almost up to like one. Cubanos, full <gasps> cubanos. The Cuban sandwiches were so good. That was my first bread. That, that was, was my first bread. That was one of my favorite cooking streams. Cuban bread. Did. Um, sure, chat. Do you remember any of the other ones? Mm. Crab Rangoon. Crab Rangoons. We did that. Good, 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 good. Mm. Not the long pour tea, the other one. Did we do another tea? What other tea did we do? Spring rolls. Oh, spring rolls, We did fresh rolls, spring yeah. rolls. We still have like oh, a yeah. thousand of those freaking things up there. We'll have wrappers for the rest of our life. Mm-hmm. Um, spicy Thai peanut sauce. That was for, for the spring rolls. To do oh, that was in. for the spring rolls, mm -hmm. right. Lobster mac and cheese. Oh, we did Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. Oh, yeah, we did do the baking powder conundrum. <laughs> um, Chef John's lobster mac and cheese. I mean, technically, this is part of the Nasi Malak, but a, a, a M Goreg, the Malaysian fried chicken. That was good, too. Yeah, that was really good. I like. I actually think that was one of my favorite parts of it. Mm -hmm. Sambal did not save well, by the way, guys. It was not very nice late. I did the London broil. Oh, we did a uh, picanha. And we um, did. picanha oh, and. The Brazilian lemonade. Brazilian lemonade, yep. I like how the Brazilian lemonade was to stand out. That's the shrimp lao mein. Uncle Roger's fried rice. We did burgers. We did a oh, burger we did the off. burger one. Yeah, the burger off. That was great. Um, the the Malaysian tea was for the nasi lemak, and I can't remember what the other one was. What was the other tea? Do we do a tea? We did the lemonade, but that's all lem that's all actual right. limes. We did that one. Asian slaw. 
This, this folder's getting thick. We streamed all of this, yeah, by the way. Yeah, we did stream all of it. That's our... Uh, we made our homemade duck sauce, I guess. Tempura sauce. Yeah. Oh, tempura. We did the tempura night. Tempura. Beef stroganoff day. Beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. We did Swedish meatballs, too. Swedish meatballs. Random stir fry recipe? Okay. Well, it's it's the Thai recipes are all named like garlic shrimp. You know, but the, it's, that doesn't really... Oh, there's my black bean brownie recipe. I need that. The black bean I'm brownies. Make that. I think I printed that like four times. There's probably four of those in there. Swedish meatballs. Mm -hmm, Swedish mm -hmm. meatballs. Oh, by the way, guys. Swedish meatballs. I found lingonberry jam in our grocery store the other day. Oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't see that. Yeah, the spicy broccoli beef. Spicy broccoli beef. Okay. From the Thai cookbook. Oh, schnitzel. We did oh, we made German schnitzel. schnitzel. I, I forgot, forgot about that. That was really I good. I That was a long time ago. That was. Tikka masala. Okay. I love that. Another More duck, duck sauce. sauce recipe? I guess we needed that a few times. Oh, woo! Um, and that's the Rangoons. That's the Rangoon recipe. And the other one that we're missing. Mini Rose is going to lose out here. Spaghetti carbonara. We didn't oh. do that on stream, though. Did it? No, that, I think that was just laying around. I yeah. just made that. But there you go. That's like, at least, as of right now, we've cooked a lot on stream. And we plan to cook more on stream. One of the best looking cooking streams. It's because of her, though. Not me. This guy does the camera, are you kidding me? I'm just standing here stuffing pretzels in my face. <laughs> what do you think people want to say? This is mukbang, baby. <laughs> oh, then I need are you on the second pretzel already? Oh, well, I, was, I was finishing up the cinnamon <laughs> sugar one. What a Mini Raj doesn't get down here, he's in trouble. I know, I if, know. We're doing a mukbang. I have to be at a table and have the entire tray of pretzels in front of me. You have to have all the food that you might consume out at one time. How do you want to store the unsalted butter? Because you know, if you wanted salted butter on something and you go, butter, unsalted. Do we, um, well, definitely leave in the box. Um, is there room in the freezer? Yeah, we probably won't need this until we do recipes and stuff, right? And if we need to like make pastry, you can put it in there and then like grate the frozen butter. Oh, Chad, I just got, I got it. Deal of the day. Crab legs. You guys see the price? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did we make sauerkraut with it? We did not make sauerkraut with it. Maybe next time. I got two bags of that. That's awesome. Yeah, buddy. Well, that was a W. I consider soft pretzels the W. I think it's a win. Um, I feel like our family will definitely want this again. Um, well, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to tell them they better get down here and eat because... You're just going to eat it all. I'm just going to eat. I'm just going to eat all of it. Mm. Just all of it. All right. One, one last look, everybody. One last look. Let's take a look. A gander at the pretzels. There we are, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Did we do good? Did we do good? Of course we did good. Uh, we'll zoom in. There it is. Perfect. The hero shot. It's a win to hang out with you on Friday night. It's a win that you're here, Silverleaf. Thank you for that positivity. My, my lab keeps sticking to my neck, so sorry if my words are garbled. <laughs> that was Raj. That wasn't me. That was her. That's what she was talking about the whole time. Trying to... How about focus? <laughs> Dick. <laughs> thanks, thanks for being here, Rocket Bar. I appreciate it. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And if you do like the cooking stream stuff, and uh, thanks for the good tips. Honestly, let me. I'm going to give you a huge shout out because a lot of times during the cooking stream, we have people that know what they're doing, and they don't relay their knowledge well. And they're they not respectful about it either. They relay it more of, "Why are you fucking it up, you stupid sons of bitches?" And Basically. we appreciate learning how to do this stuff a little bit better in a respectful way. We do exactly. appreciate that. So, cheers to you. Cheers. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but that's it for us, guys. That's it for us for this week of streaming, ending with some delicious soft pretzels. And uh, keep in mind that we are going to be doing this sub-server stuff. There's going to be a lot of discussion happening over the weekend. 
Yes, yeah, so um, if you have any input, throw it in Discord. There will be a lot of discussion happening down there. For sure. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh, so look look through Discord. There will be a lot of stuff happening uh, over the Discord. I'm going to need yeah. some testers, too, so if you guys are around. Testers, testers. They look so good. Thanks, Clownser. One, two, three. Thanks, Clownser. 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 I ain't trying to bait you, but you're one short of that VIP badge. I'm just saying. Or actually, technically two short. I don't know. I ain't trying to bait you. I ain't trying to bait you. I know you want it. And that is that is not without the... Uh... Go away, baiting. Go away, baiting. <laughs> Wizard Glick, good night. I would uh, like to participate in the co-op Minecraft world. Absolutely. We would definitely do that. You're welcome to. Oh, sorry, Cloud. Oh. So close, bro. Someday. Someday. We appreciate the support, though, dude. Yes, really absolutely do. appreciate the support. Um, but yes, that is it for us tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed the pretzel making stream. I know Hermie definitely Don't did. mind me. I'm just getting more cheese sauce for my post-stream pretzels. <laughs> I'm hitting these up hard. Yeah, Hermie's going to be excited. hitting them up hard. I know. All right, everybody. We will see you on Monday. Again, Yes, Discord. everybody have a super weekend. Um, it's it, not limited to the Northeast where we're going to have rain all weekend. Woo! True. Good night, everybody. <laughs>